Okay. Oh, girl, the struggle. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? I'm in my kitchen with my hat on, y'all. I just came from outside. And, okay, good. Now, one other question. How do I link, how do I drop this link down? Ooh, on stream yard. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Hi, Nikki. Hey, twin. CC, I'm trying to figure out how to drop this link. Like, if somebody knows, let me know, because um, I haven't explored this enough to actually know how to do that. But um, so you can come up here. Don't tell nobody I worked in technology for like, <laughs> how long was I working? <laughs> yeah, for three, for three years. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. I'm tired, y'all. I had a long week. It is hot here. What is the weather like where y'all are at? <laughs> Can you hear me? I feel like I'm talking to myself. Okay. No, that's not it either. Well, maybe do I have that feature? I'm going to do a quick upgrade. Nikki, you use that feature. Um, is that like the non-free non-free version of this that I would have to jump on? It said it's 95 here. It feels like 111. Child, it's southern heat. <laughs> the southern heat is no joke. First of all, we never get an accurate temperature. Let's just start there. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, it's going to be, you know, like 85, but it's going to feel like <laughs> death. And it almost always certainly feels like what they say is going to feel like rather than what the temperature is. So are you familiar with that feature? Click on the banner to show it. What y'all drinking? My drink is being made for me right now. Should show a link to drop. Where? Let me see. All right. I have y'all on. Oh, girl. Let's see. Don't judge me. So this is what happens now. See, I don't want to start nothing, but let's just start with the fact that I am turning 40. And it probably does not look like it, but <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. Come on with it, come on with it. I said, I'm not trying to start that because I don't want nobody to be offended. Like, that's already over 40. I was like, but listen, I've been feeling this way since I went on the upside of 35. Like, I can't go into a room. Hi, twin! I can't go into a room and actually remember what I went in there for. <laughs> you look cute. You look cute. Now, why can't I hear you on my actual thing? So, what's going on with my volume now?
Now I should be able to hear. Oh, okay. So yeah, you had to add me. This StreamYard is doing too much. I'm gonna need them to come with some automation here. Like, thank you. <laughs> you look cute. Thank you. And girl, you uh, said you was out there in that heat. Always. And it's like today I was bad. I went out, I think, at like nine. So you already know by nine o'clock, <laughs> you should be back in the house. Yes. We have a heat advisory from 11 today until eight o'clock Saturday. Jesus. <laughs> they like stay indoors. <laughs> Happy to oblige, please and thanks. <laughs> I was like, where the people at? Nikki, I think, um, are you still there? Uh-huh. Oh, she said at 2.30, hey, see you soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, now, I know I'll be doing my lives at times. I feel like people probably are at work, so. Well, they have another live going on right now, so. Who? African Dreaming. Oh, okay. So, they should be. Getting off, they've been on since like 11 o'clock this morning. Oh, that's so. too much. <laughs> they do, they do some hours, but that's oh, how you can do. get you know, you know, get monetized. Well, if they're, I'm sure they already monetized, but that's how you keep your hours good. So, I like, like to do two or three hour streams, not, not <laughs> <Yeah>. sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Do you drink one? Huh? Do you drink? Yeah. You said you drank in the video. Uh -huh. yeah. I just hadn't um waiting for my birthday. <laughs> oh, okay. How's that? Yeah, I'm not I even don't, I that don't all the time. It's more a occasion. If there's an occasion to do that, but yeah. So but my birthday will be coming up. So you know, you know how <laughs> So what is your birthday plans? Um, well, I don't know what my husband and I are doing, but two of my neighbors actually want to take me out to lunch. So I'm going out to lunch with them on Monday. And then I guess this weekend we'll do whatever we feel compelled to do, which for me usually is <laughs> be in my own <laughs> space. <laughs> I was like, it's funny because I tell people all the time, like, I'm an extrovert for real. But I do not mind being alone. Like, I think it just is, you know, age is like peace. Peace comes first. So you're turning 40? I am turning 40. Can you hear me? Ah, welcome to the like, 40s club. <laughs> this feels unreal. <laughs> Girl, it will go by so fast. And you'll be like, I'm turning 47. And I'm uh -huh. like, what happened to my 40s? But the good thing is you don't look it, right? You're right. You don't look it. See? <laughs> I feel it. But that, that's between me and my feelings. <laughs> right. No. You, I wouldn't have thought you was going to be 40. Mm. I feel like most people wouldn't. I think right. most people think like, well, and I'll say at this point, probably I'm like in my early 30s. But um, <laughs> That's what people think I'm in my 30s. And then they start seeing my gray hair and they're like, well, maybe, maybe she's a little older. Okay, let's I talk about hair be giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> talk about camera angles, right? Like, don't, right. Like, don't put them right here, <laughs> right? <laughs> Man, oh, like this would be telling everything. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, god, now how do I share this out? I did share it out before, but um, man. I, was like, I don't know how I feel about like I enjoy doing the lives, but I think I'm gonna um scale them back just like a tad because I was like for one in the evenings, it's not like on the weekends, it's not ideal for me to do. But um, and I feel like that's when most people are like more inclined. I was like, I know this is the middle of the work day for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the people that work on Fridays, a lot of people get off on Thursdays, and so they so. often, but it is Juneteenth, you know, weekend. Mm -hmm. So people already in their barbecue pits up, and we got family reunion tomorrow. So, oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. We have it every two years. And uh, so our reunion is tomorrow. Well, that's a nice birthday present. So you get to see everybody. 
Yeah, but it always I'm like that means I can't be going out of town or do you know what I'm saying? Like really go nowhere because I'm like then I'll miss for you. <laughs> but next year we'll well not next year but in two years we'll be in Louisiana. So and everybody's thinking about making it like a vacation. So. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I wanted to, you know what I really wanted to do, which I probably don't need to be doing, was going jet skiing. <laughs> That's what, what I want to do. You want to do what? Go jet skiing. But Girl. like, I don't know, maybe not, maybe not this weekend. <laughs> so do you jet ski? Absolutely not. But this is the first time for everything. No, ma'am. <laughs> My biggest fear is falling off in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> but well, can you swim? I can swim, but when you're in the middle of the ocean, I don't think that matters too much. It don't matter for long. <laughs> if you can swim, it doesn't matter if you, you know, they got to come back around and pick you up as long as you can sit in water. We went and did these banana boats, you know, the banana boat excursion. Mm -hmm. So we have um, a marsh. It's like a saltwater marsh here. And child, I fell off of that. I almost fell off into the saltwater marsh, which is mm. pretty shallow. Wow. I knocked my mother-in-law off the rat <laughs> into the water because I was trying to get back up. Oh, God. I'm like, could you imagine that? Like me falling off in the middle of the ocean? Mm. <laughs> no, yeah. that's too much but I was I do want to go like I've done um I guess things that I probably would do scary and maybe I wouldn't make a, a habit out of doing them but we went parasailing too before what? and you looking down at that daggone water and you like all right Same. don't drop me now uh -uh. so they and tell you like that you can see I don't think they go over the part where like the ocean is just like completely no bottom, mm -hmm. but you can see it. So you're like right over where it's like, they're like, if you fell, yeah, it'll be deep, but you you could swim. But then yeah. you see that dark cloud of water, oh, man. <laughs> I, I love water. So I'll just be like, yep, I'll jump off in there. <laughs> <laughs> now heights. Is another thing. I'm like, mm -mm, don't put me You're up there. Yeah, Ooh. that'll yeah. do it to you. <laughs> I, I I don't do heights because I don't think it's it. more of the fear of falling. You know, not so. Oh, I'm good true. as long as I know I'm secure in a secure <laughs> area and I can look down and stuff. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But as for uh, you know, anywhere where I'm not strapped into something, uh, uh can't do it. Um, can you share like your uh share through your thing? I'm gonna share through mine too. I'll yeah, I shared it um before we started. I shared it out. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who the uh, maybe it's my Sorry, husband. It out. Okay. But yeah, this is know. um do you hear echo? I'm just trying to get this shirt yeah. in. You must have it on your other thing going. Yeah, I'm trying to just grab the link. Hey, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Jay must be still on over there in African Dreaming. <laughs> what do he be um going out talking well, about? Well, today they're doing a Father's Day celebration. Okay, that makes sense. We got so, all getting together. Mm hmm. I'm just trying to share this out. How are you, Nikki? I dropped that link too. You can jump up here if you like to. <laughs> I got I got my cold glass of Coke. <laughs> okay, what you drinking, Nikki? <laughs> you can bring a drink. Drinks aren't only for wine down Wednesday. <laughs> and 
I bring I bring my coke to wind down Wednesdays too. <laughs> He's not working in what's that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang, I was like, where are the people at? Who am I saying? Nigga, you have to get up there here and sing uh happy birthday to me and CC. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh, she having Coke Zero. Coke Zero. <laughs> so tell me what's going on in your garden, then, or what you're growing, or what are you wanting to grow? <laughs> me, girl, I'm burnt out. Let's just. Say that. <laughs> I am. I'm just like over it. And the crazy thing is, I still have more stuff to plant. I have to put my sweet potatoes in. I have um, my pumpkins that I need to put in. Oh, why are you hollering, Nikki? Because I told you to come up here and sing. Oh, happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> um, these daggone bugs, they are eating my peppers and something ate my tomatoes. They done bit into the tomatoes. Oh, that's that hornworm. You think so? Bitten. I spotted yes. an army worm today, but yeah. somebody... Oh, yeah. Not somebody. I read it was supposedly like the earworm. They'll eat tomatoes and peppers if the they, corn is not ready. I, I've i known them to be on the corn, but um, usually it's the hornworm that's eating a tomato. Child, I was like, one of them, it was all right, all right. I saw one bite in one. I went to another one. It was like four bites in it. I said, excuse me. <laughs> You need to, to eat and move. Eat and keep it right. moving. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> making a feast out. I said, I've been fighting these caterpillars, and y'all know I'm scared, like, crapless of these <laughs> bugs. So, it'd be a whole debacle outside. But, yes, I am burnt out already, Nikki. Oh, no. It's too early to be burnt out. No, it ain't. Not yes, when you garden is. out in the south. <laughs> Everything is like a extra chore, and I'm serious. Like the way, um, well, are you on the coast? Are you mm -mm. on the coast too? Mm -mm. Yours on? No, I'm beach. like an hour, an hour from a beach. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm on the coast. For one, the wind is like disrespectful. <laughs> I have so many broken plants. <laughs> mm. I'm just like, what is going on? That's my, I tell y'all my lemon tree is naked. It's still naked. It started blooming again now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was like, between the wind, my corn was like this yesterday. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. The corn shoes. I have videos of where I'm trying to hold my corn and wrap it this way. And, and then the wind starts blowing the other way. And I'm like, this don't make right. no sense. Trying to keep this corn up. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is ridiculous, you know. I was like, the wind should not be this strong. It just shouldn't be. I was like, we have trees that literally are growing like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the flea beetles munching. You said I was right about that. Um, yeah. Like, they all, I was reading about that, too. Um, I guess when the plants are really young, they attack. She said the naked lemon tree that could shoot you. <laughs> that tree is surely gone with, with about three leaves. You said as long as I can photosynthesize. <laughs> you have to tape some on there. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> like save those three leaves <laughs> but um yeah I was like I didn't have that I actually had leaf miners in oh, my yeah. green eggplant I killed them early though I was like well what is this <laughs> well for the longest time like when I first started gardening I thought those was like like slug print you know how like when they slime around everywhere Ugh, and so yeah. I was thinking it was the slugs little pattern through the night and then it was like, no, it's like a leaf miner in the actual leaf. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? That is gross, right? Mm hmm <laughs> Save the Meyer lemon. Save Ebony's Meyer lemon. <laughs> Let's start me a uh, GoFundMe, please, so I can purchase some new things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was like, this Meyer lemon tree. I was like, I, I was like I'm getting me a Eureka lemon tree because we... <laughs> We don't got time to be playing. Yeah, but them flea beetles, 
Yeah. All my, my little plants, anyone's close to the ground, look like bug shots. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm just like, golly. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, I think I'm starting to see a little bit of that, but I can't like spot them. So I don't know when these bugs are out because I could tell you one thing. If they out, I'm not trying to be out. But um <laughs> but I see the like, you know, you see the damage, but I don't actually see the bugs. Uh-huh. So yeah. I was like, Yeah, those army? um the uh cut worms or them army worms or whatever, they be in your soil. Really? That's, you know, somebody said that to me. I think one of my um subscribers, her name is Healthy Gemini. Her birthday is the day before ours. Yeah. And she was telling me, like, she went to dig and put in a plant, and she was like, it was just infested with them. And I was like, oh, I said, Lord, please don't ever let me turn up the soil, and a caterpillar is looking at me. Oh, they, they, in, you can't see them because they, they look the color of your soil. Let me tell you something. I have 2020 vision. If my vision were for one thing, it's to spot bugs. Okay, <laughs> I can spot a bug from oh, a goodness. mile away. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki said, "Congregating down in the soil." Yes, my husband will tell you. He'd be like, "How do you even see that?" Because it's a bug. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't want to go out in at nighttime then. Maybe out there at night. Yeah, most of the stuff that be eating our plants oh, yeah. come out at nighttime. If we go yeah. out there and see all the, you know, and then you can, you know, see everything. Mm -mm, absolutely not. <laughs> I might have to put my garden down. Uh -uh. <laughs> if I see it in person, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. to the produce. I'm oh, okay. gosh. Mm -mm. Well, oh, today man. I was, um. And I didn't video it because I was like, uh, uh, I've my first ground cherry. Now my plant is like this little. <laughs> it's like a little bonsai. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like everybody else, I'm seeing like big, you know, nice size. Mm -hmm. Mine is not. It's like a little bitty to the ground. The little, you know, it's small. But one of the ground cherries, they say they're ready when they fall off. Mm -hmm. And so, uh. I seen one on the little on the ground, you know, underneath it. I was like, "What?" And I was gonna do a video, but the thing was like this tiny, and I was thinking this is probably gonna be bitter, you know. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, and um, so I tasted, and it actually tastes good. I was like, "Okay," so it was kind of like a, a tastes like a pear, like a kind of sweet pear. It has that taste. I was scared it's gonna taste like a tomato. Everybody has said like mixed things about it from what I've seen. Like some people are like, oh, it tastes sweet. Some people is like, it's like a sweet savory and they don't like really like it. So I've been hesitant to um, like try it because I'm like, well, I don't want anything else that tastes like a tomato. I was like, because y'all know how I feel about tomatoes for real. But <laughs> <laughs> you should have shared it, even if it was just the one. Well, it was tight. It was like this. I thought it wasn't even ready because it was so small. And so I was like, I'm just going to try this thing. And uh, it actually was good. And now I got those seeds from um, Gina versus Gina. She sent me some pineapple seeds. Oh. Pineapple uh, ground cherry seeds. And so it, it has a little little bit of sweet to it, but it's more it tastes like a pear. Okay. You know, it had that pear. Um, I like pears. Kind of texture, but it was actually good. So now I'm looking forward because I still have some seeds left. And I'm like, now I'm looking forward to probably plant one closer to the fall time and see if I can get it a little bigger than the bonsai <laughs> little tree. Thank you, Nikki. Um, yeah, she said she never had one before either. Uh, see? And they actually good because, you know, just like them uh, doggone peas, like, oh, let's have a garden snack. And I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> me and them peas, they have to be a certain size for me to like them. But um, but oh, yeah. yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember you and the peas in the beginning. Yes, yeah. It's but awesome. the ground cherries, they was like, oh, it's a good garden. So, yeah, I could eat them out there with my strawberries and my blackberries. I could it do this. Also called poha berry. Is that what the ground cherries are called? That's what you're saying. I don't know. I know it's different names for it. 
and they're different type is different types as well yeah so may i was going to ask that too i was like are there different varieties because mm -hmm. i want to taste the one that tastes sweet yeah <laughs> i don't want to taste nothing that tastes right. like a fruit and a tomato in one <laughs> that's true too i was like but i don't know i trust cc's taste buds because she a chef yeah and I don't <laughs> like don't eat wax beans raw Ugh. <laughs> don't do it <laughs> i was like funny too because me like i'm a foodie i'm not a professionally trained chef but i do consider myself like a chef at this point because i've actually run like curated a menu run like a, um my own kitchen and like that yeah. kind of stuff and I've gotten really good commentary, like feedback about like the food. Yeah. But I was gonna say, what was I gonna say? Dang, I lost my train of thought. You see, you see. <laughs> Don't be blaming it on the air. <laughs> but um, <laughs> what, dang, what was I gonna say? She said something about taste buds. That was going somewhere. I promise it was. Right. Oh, but I was gonna say I'm really picky about food. So I tried oysters for the first time, like maybe what three weeks ago fried oysters oh. and they actually surprisingly were pretty decent i have a problem with texture me too <laughs> i can't they're too mushy <laughs> I, I can't do, do nothing that ain't don't got no texture mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so karabi i know nikki's saying she don't like karabi really? I, want, I want to grow some have you grown uh karabi before me not me I, I want to grow to. one because um because T Nog, you know, Miss Linda, the New Orleans gardener, she be talking about karabi all the time and she be eating it. And I'm like, I want to taste it. At least grow it for I can say I like it or don't like it. So yeah, I feel like this this is the best way to do it. Um I'm feeling our eggplant now, but I'm surprised. And you like cabbage, Nikki? Because it's cabbage, just a different type. Is it? It's a German cabbage. It don't look like a cabbage at all. And I'm like, I mean, some things are, it's like funny because they'll taste similar, but they, um, what do you call it? You know, they'll have like slightly different flavors. So how would you go about cooking? Well, you know, I'm thinking about the texture of the cabbage between the karabi would you like slicing in the I, i've never cooked any because i i don't have any so i, I mean i don't know either i've seen <laughs> um i think it was like asia she made like karabi fries and she said it was really good i've never you know i don't know if people talk about it but i don't think i've ever seen anybody cook it up to be honest <laughs> right I've seen Maybe it. People selling a dream. Oh, this is good. Roll you some cold Robbie. Hey. I'm gonna need to see you eat it. Sad. She said it was cabbagey. <laughs> love bush beans raw. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't tried. Do have I tried green beans raw? I don't think I have. You know, my oldest memories of green beans are snapping them. My grandmother used to make me and my cousin snap them. Oh. Yeah, now the okra, I ate it the first time raw, and it was actually just tastes like okra. It wasn't, you know. That's one thing I don't like. You don't like okra, mm -hmm. girl. And I don't like slimy. <laughs> and don't have the no. If you if you cook it right, like I uh, <laughs> I fry my I like fried okra, so it don't be no slimy and fried okra. I and in the okra. south that's just like it's just like peppers you can put them out there they love the heat they don't care whatever degrees they love the heat i can't bring myself to grow it i was like maybe if i'm in a garden and somebody got some going on and i could snatch one and taste it real quick but i'm just like mm. i feel like <laughs> okra is one of those things that it's just like me and okra are never going to coexist peacefully oh gosh <laughs> and everybody loves it and i'll be watching videos like oh yes okra okra is so good i've been waiting on this and i'm like oh 
Yes. <laughs> I still got some in my freezer from last year, and I'm ready to stack up with some more because, yeah. Now, I will say, I don't know if it is truly a Southern thing, but I did not grow up in the South. Yes, my family is Southern, but right. we just wasn't snapping no okra up in New York. <laughs> Did y'all, did y'all even have a, like a, a garden area? No. <laughs> <laughs> there was no over to be snapped nowhere. Not in the inner city. <laughs> so what kind of things, was there anything in the inner city that you could plant or grow? or? Well, not where I was. Um, I did herbs, but I struggled with them because, you know, I'm growing them indoors. And mm-hmm. sunlight, of course, is an issue. I was still learning. Um so yeah, no, like in an apartment, I just no. <laughs> I always knew though that I wanted to like do some sort of gardening. I didn't know it was gonna be like on this scale. But I was like, oh, I'm gonna you know try growing. And when we got here, I was like, I'll be honest. I was like, it wasn't an immediate like goal because when we moved here, coming from New York, the cost of living was like so cheap compared to where I came from. Mm-hmm. Food was so much cheaper. And, you know, we're in South Carolina. Like, there's not a ton of farms, like, immediately around me, but there are a lot of farms here. Mm-hmm. So you get a lot of those, like, fresh produce at the store. Whereas, like, when I was in New York, we were having food transported from, right. you know, wherever and then transported into the inner city. But And see, so what you mean, fresh. right, what you mean up north, you know, our prices may seem cheap to you, but then for us in the South, we're like, why they went up on these prices? <laughs> well, that's how, that's how I feel now, because <laughs> let me be honest, they were. It, it A bag of vegetables was like 75 cents. But now, with all the building that they're doing here, mm-hmm. all the people that are migrating here from up North, mm-hmm. and now it's like literally the same thing. The cost of living is, I'm not going to say it's exactly the same, but when we first, when we first moved here mm-hmm. and this, I'm only giving that comparison, not from right. when like, you know, the house was originally purchased, mm-hmm. but from 2020 to now, 2020, the houses that were selling for a hundred thousand dollars are selling for 300,000. Mm-hmm. Now that's crazy. <laughs> Everything is going up. Yeah. People are paying more. Um, like paying more, meaning like um, retail wise. So right. now all the prices are going up because of it. Mm-hmm. Um, let me catch up on your comments. Now. You yeah. me, man, I was expecting it to taste like a sweet apple. Like a sweet, taste sweet like an apple. The kohlrabi? You said it was cabbage It's a cabbage. Why would a, why would a cabbage taste like an apple, girl? <laughs> Probably got that same like pear kind of texture. It's probably like that. That's Kohlrabi? what I assume. I assume it has that. Somebody, somebody told you that? Like, it tastes like a sweet apple? Who told? Who said that? <laughs> I've never heard nobody describe it like that. That's why. So I may have har- harvested on the larger side. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm, I would have to try it. But um, when yeah, I do, because I, I've i heard they take, like, a long time to really, like, bulb, even for that little teeny tiny bulb. Um, really? I'll probably only grow a few because I don't want to have a ton of that and then I don't like it. She said, I like young okra raw and it's not slimy. I've heard people say that too. Mm-hmm. Like when it's um young. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't, young or old, <laughs> my taste buds. <laughs> I wasn't didn't really I like it. it. You are from New York. I am, ma'am. I was like, do I act like it? <laughs> <laughs> so now do you is most of your family still up in New York? Um most. <laughs> I guess it's fair to say most. Quite a few of us have uh left New York, but there's a lot of them still up north, yeah. Okay. And then his family is up there too, so so were you there during 9-11 and all that? Mm-hmm. That is a that was a hard day. I was out here to talk about that because child, yeah, 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 no. I was right, right. <laughs> but, um, I yeah. can only imagine my my daughter was six days old, 
when I've seen that. And I didn't know nothing about Twin Tower, nothing about New York stuff until that day. So, yeah, I had um, like, I don't know. I was being bad. Don't tell nobody. But I had cut school that day and I went to school um, on 14th Street. Mm. So it wasn't very far. So I just so happened to stay home and I watched it on the news. And that was like um, probably one of the most devastating things like I saw. I have a mural in my living room of the Manhattan skyline with the original Twin Towers. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if I ever sold that photo, I feel like it'd probably be worth like quite a bit of money. Because it was obviously put together before the towers were. Yeah. Yeah. We got second chance gardeners in here. Hey. I'm trying to see. I'm just trying to catch up. I'm sorry. (laughs) So why my grocery bill hung out? Catch up on the chat. (laughs) Nikki. Girl, I wish I had the answer for you because I'm about over the grocery stores for real. Said buying veggies like purchasing ribeyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's true. So, we were gonna. T- I was like, one of the things I want to talk about celebrations, of course, because we're celebrating life. Of course, if there are any gentlemen in the chat, Happy Father's Day. Somebody came and came out. Um, <laughs> I did see that. But, like, what are you guys excited about celebrating? What was, like, a, some garden highlights for your spring garden or, I guess, over the year? Because my understanding is the agricultural year starts in the fall. Is that correct? Okay. I, fall is my favorite time of the year. So, summer is definitely not. <laughs> I mean, I like the, the heat. But, like, I like it out there, and I like to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with watching it and looking at it. <laughs> Same. What were some of your highlights for the um, season or for the year? Um, well, you know, I've been trying to at least try to grow something um, that I haven't grown before. Mm -hmm. or you know or try to get better at growing it and um so let me see highlights hey second chance (laughs) they still here yeah oh you seem very southern nikki say (laughs) i like how so i would love to (laughs) I will say the South has a way of definitely like calming you down, you know. It'll um, rub off on you. It's kind of like you don't really have a choice, but I don't know. Let me like <laughs> answer the question and then I'll like talk about my feelings, I guess, about that a little bit more. <laughs> um, let me see. Highlights. Um trying to think of what what things hmm. I think about it <laughs> Nikki what do you um like what are some of your highlights for the season what are you celebrating in your garden this year what about you second chance <laughs> I don't know for me I guess <laughs> for one I didn't made it most, no, not yet, I can't even say most of the way, halfway through the warm season gardening. Um, it's very different, very different than the fall and the winter. Now, is this your, <laughs> is this your first time growing in the summertime? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, Wait until July and August and everything is crispy and barely holding on you like oh gosh it's dying everything's dying it's just like it's what is the trade-off right it's like you get all this nice weather all year long yeah you could grow a few things throughout the year but child like these plants they start off so nice and you'd be like barely want to touch them by the time (laughs) it's time for them to come out i'm like this is gross (laughs) now do you have any shade cloth no, I don't. 
you definitely gonna need shade cloth or some kind of something to cover them because they are yeah the time july hits the sun is going to just roast them out there you you can smell cooked vegetables <laughs> Like, That's hilarious. Cooking out here in the garden. <laughs> no vegetables. They're gonna be cooking by themselves. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm over here like contemplating. I was like, should I do a second round of things like the peppers and the tomatoes? And I kind of want to do a second round of tomatoes, but I'm just like, is it going to be worth it? You know? And that's the thing I'm trying to figure out. Peppers, yes. Tomatoes, no. They will set up there and boil up in a little, <laughs> yeah. It'll People be... said they like warm tomatoes, didn't they? That's one of the joys. Of yeah, but they don't want like juicy, <laughs> like you bite into it and burn yourself. <laughs> oh, God, you don't like boiled tomatoes? Boiled tomatoes. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I was like, I'm afraid for it. I'm not going to lie. Um, my zucchini plants, I took them out yesterday because they look, oh, my God. When I say they look so bad, they were they were looking really bad. Some of my tomatoes have started to get a little crispy. Um, I was like, I have gotten to the point where I was like, I'm not even fighting the diseases, trying to like clip them <laughs> off because every time I clip one, there's three more that are yellow. Right. I've so, been clipping mine now. It's gonna be sitting there like a little tweet, <laughs> like a little Charlie Brown tree holding one tomato to top. <laughs> Right. I was like, I pray that the little tomatoes that are up there now, they ripen before July. Um, tomato hornworm. I don't know. I will probably grow cherry tomatoes in the fall. I am going to attempt the romas yeah, in the yeah. fall. Mm -hmm. But just to do it right now, I, was, I don't even have anywhere to put them. So I just don't, I don't know if it's um, worth it. So Nikki said, you seem very Southern. What about me seeing Southern, Nikki? She said, my parents and I were just inside those towers two months before they came down. Scary Thor. Oh. Were you guys, like, visiting? Like, that was, like, a part of, like, your um, sightseeing? Fall, baby. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm a fall, baby. But I love spring when everything begins to wake up. I like the spring garden. I will say that. Um, October what? I do like the spring gardening. It wasn't bad. It was nice to see the plants like come alive, but the bugs not really be out yet. The only thing I really struggled with during the spring was the slugs. And yeah. <laughs> I was like, I threw away two crops of lettuce because of them. Mm hmm Hi, A, A, Ron. Or A through A, Ron. I don't know how to say that. A, A, Ron. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my husband, y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, is it A, A through Ron? Or <laughs> A, <if> y'all, Ron. <laughs> He's an Aaron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that's what I call him sometimes, and Aaron. <laughs> so now, have you started using your dehydrator yet? I used it once. Um, we're going to finish testing it out before I say anything. <laughs> okay. I was like, it's, it didn't really dehydrate the way I wanted it to, but then I read something that um, apparently when you live in climates like ours, that it's actually not good for you to dehydrate in the summer because the dehydrator like kind of works in accordance with what's happening in the air. So where I told you, I was like, we're constantly, our humidity is like extremely high. So it's like, where's the moisture going? And that's kind of like how they said dehydrating works. So I may have to plan for dehydrating, but I'm going to test it out a little bit more and see. Well, I'm, Maybe. I'm getting one for my birthday. Yay! My kids already bought it, but they said I cannot have it until my birthday. I said, "Fine, that's yeah, fine." <laughs> At least they came through. At least you know you're getting it. So. Yeah, because it's like, "Mom, what do you want?" I was like, "A dehydrator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me something that I want, and that's what I want." You know, because I have so much stuff in the freezer, in the deep freezer. I'm like, I want to dry out some stuff. So. 
I am calm and grounded, Nikki. <laughs> I was like, I know how to turn up though. Don't get twisted. But I am a pretty calm person. Like not a lot ruffles my feathers. I've had to learn, and it's funny because I feel like in reality, like my personality is very hit or miss. Um, it's like people either really love me or they really just don't like me. But I am someone that is like, I've always had jobs where I've like had to be good with people. Mm -hmm. And in some respect, it's kind of like allowed me to kind of take emotion out of a lot of things. So I've just been like, okay, I can see through a like pretty objective lens, which I think is good because I don't internalize a lot of stuff. You know, not to say I'm not affected by anything, but because there are things that like do affect me. But I also I just am really good at kind of like this is the situation, this is me. Let's look at it from over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Okay. We got some questions in there. I'm trying. I'm I'm terrible at this, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get some moderators. How y'all get moderators around here? People just volunteer you, to moderate. No, you make them moderators. You click on um it should be like next to their name. You should be able to click on it. I don't know if you can do it on StreamYard, um, but on um, you can go in your what is it? Um, I want to say it's not your analytics, but you can go in on a person's name and click next to it and put monitor. You know who you want to monetize. Okay. You want to monetize? I mean, not monetize, moderate. Yeah, we all trying to get monetized around. Some of us are doing better than others. <laughs> um, the second chance, she said she's finally getting her channel up and running. She's like, "Woo, Zone Seven B, Alabama. Summer is brutal. Uh, okay. Don't we know it? Don't we know it? At least you get a little relief though during the fall and winter, I suppose. A little bit." Nikki said, cook veggies, dinner is ready. Go outside. Right. Where's dinner? Go outside. Right. So, <laughs> seconds, did, did any of the tornadoes or any of that affect you? Um, they had tornadoes and stuff in Alabama area and all that. Storms. You know, I would say, fortunately for me, no. And I'm not saying we are not ever affected by these things, but because of where we are, um, the storms do come through South Carolina, but because we're so close to the coast, it's very rare that we'll get hit with the eye of a storm. It's usually like the outskirts, and we'll, that's basically we're getting the winds coming up off of the, the water, you know, and the tail end of like any rain. Well, the eye is the most calmest part. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, we don't, I don't know. We haven't gotten anything crazy. You, you know. haven't had a, a nice hurricane. <laughs> we do get some things though. It's just not like, I will say the times that we get most affected is when things are happening in Florida. Mm -hmm. Like usually if something's going on in Florida, it's coming through Georgia and through the coast of South Carolina and going yeah. up that way. Mm -hmm. But um, I think, Alabama might be a little bit out of like our direct way of like mm -hmm. storm sharing from base. And that I'm guessing based on like how most storms move, which they said is like northwest if I'm not, or northwest or no, something like that. They tend to go like that. I don't know. Child. But I'm going to say thank my lucky stars because you know what? I'm in one of those zones where. I don't need no hurricane. I don't need no wind and hail because that'll be all they need. Well, you gotta, you gotta at least have a hurricane party. party. Huh? You at least gotta have a hurricane party. What? Who celebrates oh, hurricanes? In the South? Yes. You gotta sit on your porch and get ready for it to come because, you know, it's gonna take some days to get here. Yep. <laughs> Did she hear me when I said most of us down here is from the north? 
ain't nobody celebrating no hurricanes up here. I'm from this world. Like me and all my neighbors, we're all from like the north. Um, my neighbor to the left of me is from New Jersey. The one to the right of me, they're from like a Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Nikki says she's in Maryland, so I'm seven, eight. I always seem to think you're in Ohio. I don't know why. <laughs> Maryland, seven, a second chance, October 10th. Hey, Nikki, hey you was in the house. And Nikki, we usually get uh barbecuing or whatever when, when the hurricane's coming. You go ahead and get your food together, and you just you know, either you get ready to go out of town. Are you get ready to hunker down? You'll hear that a lot in the summertime, that word, hunker down. That means just stay, you know, in your area. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going to come out and save you until after the hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own if you stay. <laughs> you said you, you want to swim over to me? That's your business. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I And it's, like, kind of sad to see, though, because, you know, the reality is, some of our government does not want to address the things that are actually happening, but I'm like, we've had some of the coldest like days we've had in I don't know how long this year, and everybody is seeing the effects of it. So it's like, why are we not addressing it to make things better? But um, y'all definitely Texas, I know like Alabama, they've definitely gotten hit with those like tornadoes, like serious Mississippi. It's just been bad, you know. And I was like, I pray that we don't ever have to go through that. Like, I saw a mini tornado one day, but it just kind of like missed us. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I said to um, I was like, Aaron, you saw that? He was like, Yeah, but you heard it. And you know, we have like that kind of stuff. We do have to tie up the furniture, and mm -hmm. otherwise, it'll be in somebody else's yard. But right. <sighs> I was like, I don't know. This weather has been something else. He's on October 22nd. Um, that is, are you a Libra or a Scorpio? Mm -hmm. My little um, cousin's birthday is October 9th, too. Yeah, the air songs are heavy. I was like, I know we got a like nice little Gemini family on YouTube. There's a whole yep. lot of shout outs going on. Yep. You said I can do the moderator thing for my cell phone. What if somebody yeah. don't want to be my moderator and I make them moderate? Oh my God. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you want somebody that, um, I mean, what's, what's, <laughs> let me say how I say it. You want to have some people that are, uh, you want the thing to make your, your channel, you know, really, um, be productive or whatever make it is to have fans like people that don't have channels themselves mm -hmm. you know that actually watch what you because when you have other creators you know they got their own agenda as well you know it's good to have creators on there but you don't want to have all creators on your thing because if they got something going on people got to pick and choose between who they're going to go and see you know Really? So, you think so? Yeah. I was like, I don't know. I want to talk about something, but it's, it's only a few of us here. Don't want to Libra, Scorpio, I'm a Libra. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Libras are pretty cool people. Yeah, but you I want really somebody that you uh, be a moderator that actually know what they're doing and how to handle trolls and that kind of thing when they come in. You know. And you see, I, I mean, <sighs> how do you handle a troll? Because this is where the New York in me comes out. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> is, you want to play around? <laughs> Let's play around. Well, you know, it, it all depends. <laughs> like, if you are, you know, the the bigger your channel gets, the more trolls that, like they said, if you know that you finally made it when you start having trolls come over to your channel. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and if you do, like if, you know, if you do your channel at nighttime, you get a lot of, you know, kids that's maybe gaming that might mm -hmm. jump on your channel or different things like that, or just somebody being sarcastic for no reason. So, 
you know. Yeah, see, I don't be phased by that stuff because for one, I'm like, you do not want me to get typing. <laughs> Cause I could I could put some words together <laughs> and that'll hurt your feelings. <laughs> so she let you know that. But um like let's let's be friendly. And I'm just like sometimes you I do see it and I'm but I also don't see it a lot. And I guess I feel like it depends on the person and how they like set up their community too. Mm-hmm. Cause there are like big YouTubers that I just don't see that stuff on. Now they could very well have one in like filters, or yeah. Like comments too. I so. I have filters on on my uh, channel. Like um, as for comments, mm-hmm. I filter every comment. There's no comment gonna go through without me filtering it. You see, I don't do like, and I don't do that, and I don't think I've ever done that um, on anything I've done. And, you know, like, I wouldn't say I've had trolls, but, you know, you say you, some people are just like, okay, you're here, you could tell us a fake account, or it's not really, like, mm-hmm. anything like that. I'm just like, all right, whatever. Thanks for well, it's, it's also <laughs> to keep your chat safe. The people that are in your chat is there, and they expect you to protect their, you know, while they're there on your channel, that mm. you're gonna make sure that they don't feel uncomfortable. If somebody come in, you know, saying slurs at people or you know, oh no, absolutely. all that kind of stuff, and people look, they're gonna look to the creator like, well, you allowed this to happen, or you, didn't oh yeah, stuff like that, for sure. you know, that kind of stuff. So that's, well, that's I've never had that. Like I've never had that happen. I've never seen it happen. I don't girl, wait until you get big, girl. <laughs> <sighs> I was like, I love. I had one person leave like a comment that it was. It wasn't a troll comment, but it was just like one of those like I don't know. They had made some type of assumption, and I was just like, okay. I left a, a nice remark, and it was really like thought provoking. And I don't know. I guess they just never came back. But <laughs> it's just like what? Because for me, like I said, I'm an objective person. So I was like, I, I, I'm a logical person. So if you say something to me, it's just like, all right, make sure it's factual <laughs> because <laughs> I'm going to probably like come back with something and question it to make you think about what you just said. Right. But she said, like, you sound like my daughter, um, second chance. She detaches from everything. I think it's your age group. How old is your daughter? I don't know if I detach from everything, but I definitely have learned to pick and choose what I allow to um, alter my energy. And I say that because, like, I used to do real estate when I was in New York. And I remember I would get so attached to, like, what I was doing. Um, I had this client, like, back out of a deal. And I was so angry. (laughs) that and i was more so angry and this is just me as a person it wasn't that they backed out of the deal it was like you literally went through all of this you wasted my time you knew you had no intention of you know going through with it so it's like why would you sit here and like to try to make me feel good like that's not doing me any you know justice and my broker at the time he was like you know i've never seen you like get that way and he was like you have to do yourself a service and disconnect. He was like, otherwise, this is going to send you spiraling down in a negative way. And he's like, you're not going to be, he's, you're just not going to be successful. And after he said that, I kind of just like thought about my approach and I got better at it because of like the types of jobs that I had and like the line of work I was in. So I just like, I had to, everything had to be based on what is logical. It can't be based on how Ebony feels about it. You know, how like, oh, whatever my personal opinion is on it. It just couldn't be that way. So I was like, this actually works pretty well when you apply it correctly and you find yourself not really being in this whirlwind of emotion and you know it's just something i've kind of worked at over the years 
Nikki, you said, do you sit on the porch with popcorn? She talking to you, Cece. <laughs> Wait, I can't hear y'all. What happened? Oh, no. Did I do that? You have your mic off. I didn't do that. No, I had it on mute. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I answered her. You're a little bit behind on. I am. Head. See, I am bad at this. Go I'm ahead bad. and start clicking them there. <laughs> on the cuss, I read that. I was trying to make sure I answered. So I, it's, I haven't had any major problems. Where am I? I don't see a response from you. No, I just uh, said it to her when we was on here. You I didn't you. type it in. I don't think anybody heard you. We, you were on mute. No, no, I said it earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind me sharing? Because I surely didn't hear it. That's when I talked about barbecuing and all that. When I was oh, okay, about, see, yeah, okay, so then <laughs> glad to hear that. But um, I don't know what else y'all like happy about this season, or and I guess my question to you, Cece, is. What are you grateful for this year? What are you looking forward to, you know, in your next year around the globe? Fishy barbecues. Um, well, well, I can talk about what my birthday plans are going to be. So uh I am going to go to Galveston. Um, if you don't know, our birthday is on Juneteenth. And mm -hmm. so we celebrate that in the South. And I don't know if you've been in any Juneteenth celebrations or anything since you've been down there. I haven't. Okay. Um, well, um, Galveston was the first place it was announced over here in Texas uh, about that. And so I am going with my oldest daughter. I don't know if my younger one will be off from work, but we're going to actually go down to Galveston and they are going to have a celebration at one of the churches down there they're gonna have food and mm -hmm. and all kind of stuff but then at six o'clock they're actually gonna have the march where we reenact the juneteenth when the announcement was made and everything so plan on videoing as much as possible probably going live because that you know that means a lot to me um mm -hmm. for for what juneteenth stands for and so i'm excited to be a part of that and go down there and just, you know, take it all in. And then, of course, I'm going to hit the beach because I'm out there in Galveston. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I got to have some beach time while I'm out there. So it should be fun. Mm. And just enjoy my birthday. Just I love being by the water. I love all things water time. You know, not the heat so much, but I like being by the water. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I'm getting into like wanting to know about some of those things. So um, I was like, I have a hard time remembering some of the details because there's just so much to take in. But like, obviously, we've gone down to like Charleston. We've seen like the site where like the Civil War happened. Um, I forget the name of the park down there, but they have like one of the cannons and I guess the general and, you know, those statues down there and South Carolina has you know a rich history with that stuff too but I find myself um you look for the good in it but it's it's hard to kind of take it in without taking in all of it you know mm -hmm. so I have to do those things in moderation because that's something that definitely gets the um the blood <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> girl yes um you said your dog is being spayed on juneteenth why juneteenth <laughs> that was it's on a monday <laughs> <laughs> but it's a national holiday so are they going to be open the place where you're going to get her spayed it hmm <laughs> so two back to back litters was enough. Oh wow. <laughs> the only open appointment I had a feeling. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, sometimes it's like okay. that. 
I was like, I don't know what I want to do this weekend. I was like, part of me wants to relax, but I feel like I relaxed a lot. <laughs> um, it has been, I've been tired, you know. I was like, this heat and gardening definitely does it. Um, you know, I think there is stuff to do. I want to go to the beach. I think it's too hot to go to the beach a little bit, but <laughs> I'll probably end up going because we said we were going to go. Mm -hmm. We said we were going to go um, for like the last couple of weeks too. Mm -hmm. I was like, outside of going to lunch, he did, he ended up getting me some garden shoes, but they were too small. Apparently now I'm Bigfoot, you know, the size I used to be. <laughs> this no. is not the size no more. Girl, you didn't came to the South. <laughs> this is your new size. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, I tried that shoe on. I was like, well, this shoe was tight. <laughs> But I was like, all right, we have to send those back and get a different size. So I was like, also, like, I know my feet stretch from, like, my last um, job. And, yeah, the heat, I guess, will do it to you. Plus garden shoes. And I heard the older feet. you get, your feet gets bigger. Well, they don't need to grow no more. <laughs> I was like, my feet and my head <laughs> can only be but so big. I am only but so big. <laughs> He said Juneteenth is still a new holiday for most. Yeah, yeah it, is. it um, is. I was thinking that too. I was like, you know, it is a national holiday, but I guarantee you there's only a select few celebrating it. Mm -hmm. um, I love the beach. Feet and hips. Oh, you saying you feet and hips? <laughs> <laughs> they used to tease me. And they're like, why is your head so big on your little body? And I'm just like, it's like, you're going to fall over. That's what my best friend used to say to me. Uh-uh. I'm like, yeah, okay. I know my head is a little bit big. That's fine. But <laughs> but yeah, I was like, that's really it. I don't know. I don't be having a desire to do a ton of stuff. You know, it's like before you wanted to go party or it's always wanting to do something. Mm -hmm. I was like, now I'm like, as long as it is peaceful <laughs> and I can just exist for a little bit without mm -hmm. having to do too much because I'm always doing something. But um I'm good. Okay. Any Father's Day plans, anybody? <laughs> so fun fact, the year I was born, I was born on Father's Day. I don't know how proud I should be of that, but <laughs> I know it like dances around it all the time or on it or do it and I'm just mm -hmm. like, you know. My kids always celebrate. I they always celebrate me on Father's Day as well because I'm being a single mom, and they mm -hmm. like look you you know even though my youngest one her dad is in her life and everything, but they always you know celebrate me because they're like look you mom and dad so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that makes you feel good. It does. It does. Yeah, that was my mom too. So I was like, you know, <laughs> bless her heart and rest her soul. I mean, I say bless her heart because in, in the South, that means something completely different, right? Yes. <laughs> but, you know, rest her soul. <laughs> yeah. Um, But yeah, I was like, it used to bug me because they would always wish me a happy birthday on Father's Day, like first thing in the morning. <laughs> And then on my birthday, everybody come with, through with a text or a call at one or two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was born on June 19th. Right. Not Father's Day. Right. It was to be Father's Day when mm -hmm. I was born. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just got to a point where I had to tell some folks, I was like, my, my mother and my brother, it'll be like, oh, happy birthday. And then you miss my bir actual birthday? Uh, no. I'm gonna need you to wish me a birthday on my birthday, not on Father's Day. Let's see, my so my daughter's <laughs> my daughter's birthday. Uh, my oldest one is born on Valentine's. Oh, she like that. Loves it, even to this day. She's 24, and she loves that her birthday is on Valentine's, and the stores decorate just for her because it's her birthday. <laughs> That's how y'all look at it. Yes. And message. she's like, this is my birthday, Al. And this is what they do for my birthday. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then my other one is born around Labor Day. 
And so that that was always hard when you try to invite, you know, kids from, you know, school because school mm-hmm. be just started. And mm-hmm. then Labor Day come along. And so everybody's having Labor Day weekend. So she didn't have a lot of people be able to come to a birthday party because everybody's having celebrations around there. So, yeah. It's always something. It's always something. <laughs> so are you looking forward to anything in the fall that you want to grow? You know, like after the heat is settling down some. I said I was going to put a um, put out a video like what my second year goals are going to be around gardening. Um, I think it's going to look a little different from what I was doing this year. <laughs> but um, I think for me, it's more just focusing on numbers, like wanting to grow enough of the things that we like so that they can last through those transitional seasons. And um, what was the other thing? Oh, God. Look, that's twice. Y'all better not be keeping track. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think for me, I want to venture out in terms of like some of the things. So like now understanding early season varieties versus mid season versus late season, you know, and how to extend the harvest without having to constantly go in succession sowing, like that kind of stuff. Um, I was going to say two, and one of the things I saw this one in my garden, not in my gardeners, um, millennial gardeners channel, I was like, this might be a good thing for you to try too, Cece, but growing like tomato varieties that are bred for full type temperatures. So mm-hmm. I was like, that was one thing that I wanted to try and see how that actually does compare to trying to grow like the um, hot temp varieties mm-hmm. so that they will actually do well in the fall. I don't want to grow any more tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> you said I'm done with tomatoes. Done. If I do do tomatoes, I'm just going to do the little cherry tomatoes, like maybe one plant, two plants. That's it. 40 plants is a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I mean, I have blessed so many people, and, um, you know, two different churches have got. Lots of tomatoes. Family members got tomatoes because I'm like, you know, so. But as for my fall, I plan on going big. Yeah, and I see. I like the um. I like to. Toma- I like to have them. He likes tomatoes. Um, there are certain things I like them in, and usually I'll buy fresh tomatoes, even though I know I'm not necessarily going to just be chomping and biting into a tomato. But if I want to make like, you know, some, um, not salsa, what's this, pico? Because, you know, we like Mexican food. Yeah. I was like, I want to be able to do that without having to necessarily go buy tomatoes and groceries. Like she said, you know, she just spent $100 on a few, a handful of items. Mm -hmm. I'm like, he just went to the store and I'm sure spent $100 on next milk, milk, eggs, (laughs) and yeah, uh, right. <laughs> some club soda and some stuff for me to have this mojito right here. Yeah. So it's it's getting a little ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, a part of what's actually happening too is a lot of people are starting gardens and therefore are not necessarily buying food the way they once did. Mm-hmm. You know, so the stores have to compensate for that somehow. You know, so it's going to raise the price on the things that people buy the most. Right. You said you plan on making a lot of fried greens. and Make me some, please. I was like, I don't fry foods like here that often, but I do like fried green tomatoes. I grew a green tomato plant and it had it's the only plant that hasn't put on an actual fruit yet. And Mm -hmm. I was like, it's a green tomato. It was the only one that survived out of old seedlings. Oh, and Oreos because Aaron loves Oreos. <laughs> I send him to the store for milk. He comes back with Oreos. And Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I plan on extending my garden to like double the size of this. Yes, I want yes. it bigger. Want it bigger, and I want to. I'm challenging myself, but I want to do no less. Then 25 of the fall items 
20 25 of each of my fall items i want to put out Love so it. 25 cabbage 25 broccoli 25 brussels sprout you know whatever you are not growing 25 brussels sprout plants none yes, of that I will. yes i will <laughs> if they all grow, i'm telling you i want to like i want to push the envelope and see how much stuff definitely mustard greens um i just got in oh did you ever get my email me yeah, yeah. i That's emailed you it. and i didn't send it yet so please don't hold that against me but I oh no no, no. Uh, i actually had another person send but send me yours girl what kind you got <laughs> <laughs> yeah i told you i have the flash one so oh I'm yeah yeah gonna um it. i had a lady which i gotta do a, a video or or on my community tab but she sent me some um what kind of she sent me? She sent me some collard greens too. Mm -hmm. Um, these are called champion collars. Okay. Champion collars and um collars from Ray Feed Store. Uh she lives here in Houston area. Okay. And uh, but she sent me some. I'm telling you, I've yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to be sending seeds to somebody else too, and I was trying to wait to send like all of them mm -hmm. together. But I think I'm just gonna like send them out. Um, I had asked them about it today too, so I don't know. I'll send yours. I have one other person to send, but I was trying to wait for the third person. But that's yeah, fine. Okay. But yeah, I want to uh, plenty of cabbage. Plenty. I just want to go all out, especially my mustard greens. I cannot get enough of mustard <laughs> collars are okay i haven't tasted different kind of collars you know because it takes a lot to cook them things and oh no it all be typically? probably the type of collars that's what i'm saying it's all different type you know how some of them is like so tough like big old thick leaves and it takes forever to cook them down have you tried doing them young Cause like I harvested all of mine at a young stage. When I say, and I think you'll like these too, these okay. collard greens. Now I like, I'm like you, right? I'm like collard greens are okay, like they're good, but I don't. I'm not a collard. Like I got to have collard two or three times a month. Like, right, that's not right. me. But yeah. um, what do you call it? These collard greens are good. But I also harvested them young. I know people like to like they're like, oh, look at my hand and look at the collard green, like. I like the idea of pulling things before, you know, they get to like those large sizes because yeah. in the grocery store, like if you think about it, they're trying to sell you based on value, right? So they're going to sell you vegetables that are probably a little bit overgrown because mm -hmm. that's just the way we perceive value. What's up, bro? Right. How are you? Hey, bro. So zucchini some of my zucchini i like to harvest this big and you know you a chef like that's considered a delicacy in the yeah, yeah. World, right mm -hmm. so those things are so good when they are harvested small mm -hmm. so good and sweet but everybody Maybe I need to try that because zucchini i'm not a fan really <laughs> try the i'm gonna say all right so since you said that i'm gonna send you some um gray zucchini seed, seeds too those taste better than black beauty and you don't have to harvest those as young because they hold their texture a lot better. Those mm -hmm. things are delicious. I grew those. Nikki, yeah. did you try yours yet? Because she grew, she's growing them um, this year too. Oh. But that is good. The scallop zucchini is good too. Another like you could actually treat that like how you would treat cauliflower. Like you could is make that a the scallop uh, squash. Thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How would you cook that? I roasted them. I put them on the grill. Um, well, I like, think how would you cut them? Uh, maybe how cut do it? you cut them? Yeah. yeah. The, um, the little top and bottom. Just cut it in half. Just cut it in half and you just eat them? <laughs> yeah, I've never tasted it. The same way you're doing anything else. What you <laughs> no, but I'm saying I've never had it. So They're good. They're good. And they hold up pretty well. I have one that's been sitting on the counter for like a week and a half and it's solid. Okay. Broke, what's up? You came through the startup trouble? <laughs> um, but yeah, so Thank the flash ones I'm gonna send them. you. I know a lot of people grow like the Georgia collars, right? I want to try those. 
but that was supposed to hold up really good with the you know heat and everything but like you said i i don't need a big old fan of collars while i'm sitting up there trying to stuff it all into a pot because it's so huge and you know mustard greens are so quick and simple to i love me some mustard greens you know i want to try them which ones do you grow I grew mustards, but I don't think it's the kind that everybody else has been growing. I grow two different kinds. Um, the Florida mustard greens okay. are really good. And um, this past year, I did the India uh, mustard greens. India. I don't okay. know where I got those seeds from. I can't remember. But yeah. um, they were just as good. I'm going to try those. Yeah, at least the Florida ones because I know I hear a lot about those. Yeah, they're good. They're good. I actually have some Florida mustard greens still in the bed out there. I have to put put them in a shady area, but man, I love them. And you said they're bred for the heat too. Well, the Georgia collars are okay now for the mustard greens because uh, they're a thin of leaf, so you got to have it in a shady area if you have them out now. Okay. I shouldn't have them out now, but I do. I have them in my raised bed, like hidden under the cucumbers and stuff. That's the only reason why it's still surviving. Well, I'm going to try it and see. Because I only had them once, but I can't. I don't know which ones I have, but they definitely grow like a stalk tree branch. Mm-hmm. They were good. I ate them, but the thing is, they don't stay well and like well long enough like yeah. when it gets hot. For you to even yeah. get a good harvest off of them so i grew them in the fall and we had them once and i was like okay these are spicy i was like they were good though yeah you never ground mustards you got definitely some- not growing so much zucchini next year everything better from georgia oh yeah i just asked him i said you come here to start trouble he's like no ma'am and it start proceeds to start trouble <laughs> And was that oh. second chance that asked uh 25 cauliflowers? Mm-hmm. I never drew I never grew cauliflower, so I don't know. It just seemed like it would be a lot of trouble because you know you gotta like fold the leaves down to protect it and you know all that. Unless you have the kind that cover itself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would try to get those because when I tried to do my cauliflower, them leaves did not stay because the plant is growing, so it's like yeah, you know. Everything's better in Georgia. You know he had to come in there with that. <laughs> uh-huh. I saw I'm like, uh-huh, starting trouble. But yeah, <laughs> I'm with you though on the numbers, and that's kind of where I am with it too. I was like, I think from what I've learned, and this is only based on what I've grown, which is um I grew Eastern Magic Broccoli. Oh Lord, that broccoli is so good, y'all. Mm. It takes three heads for me to feed me and my husband for two days. So I was like, I need to grow roughly about i think i said something like 90 broccolis for the entire year wow so each season we can grow broccoli three seasons here i was like each season i need to have something like 30 plants at least but i'm also going to try and grow a larger one and i'm going to work on the side shoot so maybe i can like reduce it just a little bit but um that's what i'm focused on too the numbers so i'm like with you I was like, I want to grow and see, like, push the limits, but do yeah. it smart this time. Like, knowing the seasons, like, carrots, I'm not growing those again in the spring into the summer. Like, they don't taste as good as something I would grow in the fall or early in the winter. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, I wouldn't do that. He said, we have squash every day. You're not preserving any of squash? There's no way I could eat zucchini every day because you will literally be eating zucchini every day. (laughs) (laughs) You said I'm the only one eating them every other day. You better preserve them, squash. You better put them through the food processor and make some shreds and make a little puck. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, yeah, cauliflower... It started to grow, and then the weather just, like, was doing weird stuff, and then it bolted. So Mm -hmm. I think my cauliflower got shaded out by the broccoli because the broccoli really took off. So I'm, like, excited to see what that's going to look like for the fall. But um, I can't wait to see it, your expansion. I hope you share it with us. 
Oh, because I know it's easy to get in the um mode of this just needs to get done and this camera is gonna have to stay off. <laughs> yeah. No, I I really um my neighbor down the road have one of those um like a backhoe kind of tractor thing. I want him to come in and like you know make it all I want like in my front yard, <laughs> I'm gonna have a huge garden. I want a nice huge garden for the fall. I want to grow lots of fall stuff and then you know especially since uh, i got the hang of um potatoes and stuff now and now i figured out how to actually grow some potatoes and sell the little bitty ones so i'm happy about that and my carrots i actually didn't do my video of when i actually got some good carrots because i had did some and they was like little tiny ones and so I never did the video of when I actually pulled some nice ones out. And I was like, but I know how to grow some carrots. So this past year has been more of, you know, learning how to mm -hmm. improve the way I grow. Now, you know, because uh, I've been growing for now. Well, it's going to make seven years soon. And but I'm still a new you know, grower on different things that I've never tried, you know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to expand, you know, I don't have to have all these unique names of, you know, these peppers or tomatoes or all that kind of stuff. I just want to be able to be able to grow some really good vegetables, some staple things, and then try out some new, you know, new stuff too. Yeah, and I was like, I don't, I agree with you, like, not trying to get too far out into the weeds with, like, growing stuff that you lose track of, like, what you actually need to grow in right. order to keep yourself out the grocery store, <laughs> but um, I was like, peppers are a big thing for me, so I was like, you know, peppers, I will always grow in abundance, but it's like, I'll try one or two things here and there, but, like, I know the things I like, I said, I need to get my hands on those things first. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. So. So I was like, I don't know if, if anybody heard or knew. Yes, this is a birthday stream live. <laughs> Me and Kiki, our birthdays this weekend. We were born on the same day, you know, best day of the year. Yeah, because people was like, are y'all uh <laughs> right <laughs> different years? It's like, are you is that truly is this your twin? I was like, no, we just say the same <laughs> birthday. <laughs> I know people be like twin. I want to be a twin, like girl. <laughs> Thank you. <Woo>! Thank you. <laughs> Can we say happy birthday to us? I was like, I don't know how many people are gonna jump off soon. I know we got it's Friday night. Y'all know I'm getting up on the game live. I've been enjoying Tori's brain games. I'm such a um, girl. Them fan. them games. <laughs> My mind just be. I'll be trying to as soon as it's coming, like the countdown will be going on, and I'm like, okay. Now, my issue is I'm dyslexic, and so oh, really? I have a, um issue with trying to see. My letters are, like, moving while I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm like, come on, let me put this, you know, together. And I'm like, dang it, I didn't flip the letters around, you know, like when I go to type it. And then mm -hmm. somebody else typed the right the, the right way to do it. I'm like, oh, I had that. I just didn't type it right. <laughs> Listen. I was like, autocorrect be doing me dirty, man. See? I was like, I be having to correct it. I be like, oh my God, you didn't just type that. Like, what? <laughs> like I did not say that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, thank God I don't be like texting people like that. Thank you, second chance. <laughs> thank you, bro. I was like, did y'all bring drinks? I was like, I'm over here. <laughs> right. I started getting a little water down. But it's <laughs> At least you've been drinking. Look, 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 look I'm, about, I'm about to be eating on some Doritos. <laughs> you know what's funny? I was going to come to the chat with Cheetos, but I was like, they don't want to hear me crunching. <laughs> That's what that, that mute button is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, he said, I want to grow everything I can buy at Kroger. Kroger has a pretty good selection of stuff, though, so at least, I don't know, at least I've seen it down here. They have. Mm -hmm. We got some more comments. Yeah, I'll be moving slow. I thought I read, yeah, I read this. So that's me too, CC. It's like, just what we like to eat in a few experiments. Anybody know? 
what the heck to do with celery. Um, you can do a lot with celery if you actually like it. <laughs> Maybe it's my computer. So if I'm a little behind, um, let's go ahead and blame that on StreamYard and YouTube trying to connect and not me because I was like, I see them coming in, but it's like kind of like one at a time. I only use celeries if I'm doing in soups or like dressing, something like that, but I don't use celery much. Yeah, I don't like raw celery, um, but celery is one of those things. I think it just depends on what you're making. Um, if you're making any type of like cold salad, like cold pasta salad, it's almost like what everybody claims garlic is to cooking, you know, like celery is definitely one of those background notes that takes a um, a cold salad, like whether it's a deli style mac mac salad, a potato salad, or you know any other like anything you can think of. Usually in those, I would put something like celery seed because I'm not a fan of crunching on raw celery, but it definitely is um, a staple for that. I would say anything that you wanted to have like texture in, you know, like kind of how you would do carrots the same where it's like they'll cook, but they'll maintain some of their like mm -hmm. texture. Um, salts, a lot of people like celery salt. I'm not a big, um, like those individual seasoning salt person. Like I'm not, a, I'm not big on those, but celery salts you can add it as a vegetable powder if you get smoothies and you know and it actually makes some um bouillon make some vegetable bouillon you can make your own dry yeah. vegetable bouillon mm -hmm. i'm riding in the car so no drinks other than water all right <laughs> that's right <laughs> won't blame that on me they don't have dragon. I seen a broke eating that dragon egg cucumber, just like an apple. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> dragon yeah. egg cucumbers. What does it taste like? Does it taste different from like a regular herbless peanut know. butter and raisins on celery? Definitely a broke farmer mm -hmm. <laughs> recipe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do not like, oh, God, I don't like raw celery, y'all. Me neither. Mm. I don't either. Mm -mm. And raisins. Raisins are controversial <laughs> and <great. laughs> But raisins actually are pretty good in quite a few things. Um, this is like Indian dish that they put like raisins in rice. And that mm -hmm. stuff is delicious. I was mm -hmm. like, who puts raisins and rice? And I ate that. Yeah. I was like, I do now. <laughs> yeah. My, my daughter is, um, her husband is from Honduras. And his grandma comes down and she makes Honduran tamales. And mm -hmm. it has rice and it has raisins in there. And I was just like, that stuff was good. The way she made it, I was like, she can make that. Anytime she come, <laughs> come mm -hmm. down. It was really good, but that was my first time eating raisins with rice. But it it worked out. It was nice. Yeah, South American <laughs> and Asian food culture will definitely have you like, I never even thought about doing this, you know? Mm -hmm. I was like, one of the things that I experienced recently that is really, really good, and if you've never tried it, you should. You know how like they um, make spring rolls, like Thai spring rolls? They actually take the plantain as a dessert and wrap it in the spring roll and fry it, mm -hmm. <sighs> y'all. What? When I say that is like one of the best things on earth. Oh. He said, "When do you harvest celery?" Um, I think it depends on where you plant it, but celery is a long-growing crop, so you can probably expect to wait anywhere from like four to six months <laughs> for it, depending on when you plant it. Mm -hmm. um, if you grow it in the early spring. Like I started, I want to say I started mine in like February. I'm just now like the stalks are about 50% height. I had celery that I started over like late summer last year, like late summer, early fall. That did not stalk until February or March this year. So wow. I think it just depends. It needs heat to actually grow. 
So I think as soon as it started getting hot was where it was like, okay, we're going to branch out. But expect at least like 20 weeks of waiting. Creamy sweet cucumbers. Sweet cucumber. Never had that. That's what the dragon egg. I guess that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, because I asked him what it tastes like. He said mm -hmm. creamy sweet cucumber. Um, it's called ants on a log. Mm -hmm. The peanut butter with and the, the celery. Rings. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be a, a southern thing. <laughs> We used to have that at school, and I was like, what is that? Oh, it's ants on the log. And I was just like, no, I'm definitely not going to eat that, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that about mushrooms, too. I actually don't even like mushrooms. It's another thing that I'll eat occasionally I'm, when I'm like, all right, um, I need this flavor, or if it's just like, all right, let me get the benefit of mushrooms in. But that's like once out the blue. Yeah, no. I don't like know. I will not eat it if somebody else tries to give it to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't try to feed me any mushrooms. <laughs> I'll make it at home. That way I can make sure I can get this texture right. <laughs> mm. As the last thing I want is a mushy mushroom in my mouth. It's gross. Ew. <laughs> Um, but they good. They're good for like umami powder. Oh my god! What mushrooms on a steak? Delicious. I'm sure. Yes, boy. No, no. Don't mess that steak up with no mushrooms. <laughs> put put some onions on there, broke. <laughs> I know he don't like onions. <laughs> How you don't like onions? I know he doesn't. Uh, hands in the dirt doesn't like onions. I'm like, what? Like, I could see if it was a texture thing, though, where it's like, yes, what happened? You want to say hi? Okay, hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I could see if it was a texture thing, because, like, onions can get a little slimy, too. Maybe a little mealy. <laughs> <laughs> say hi, mama. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> She's such a busybody, right? <laughs> so bye. <laughs> but um I guess I don't know. But the flavor of onion is so good. I know. <sighs> Onions and some garlic and just yeah. And grilled onions, yes, yeah, second chance. Come on. You put them onions on the grill. <sighs> I can eat yeah. like I can eat onions for days. Like I can eat it delicious. every day. Every day. <laughs> She's a no ma'am and I grow huge onions. So what do you do with all your onions? <laughs> Nikki, here she come with the daggone trifecta. Onions, peppers, and mushroom, please. Mm -mm. All the mushrooms. Onions no, yeah, hold the mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know. So we singing happy birthday. Everybody gonna jump on. Happy birthday to us. Come on. Happy birthday to you. Oh. We get the Stevie. Oh, I'm not trying to get a copyright strike. All right. Mm -hmm. Go to. They will give you a copyright strike for that too. You know, if they can pick up that melody, it's a wrap. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <sighs> oh man. Hello, Magic. Magic Hi, Mia. Mia. Trailer Park Garden. Hey. <laughs> Who's that? We have a new person in. Hi, Magic Mia. How are you? Oh, he said his wife and family eats the onions. Oh, okay, okay. Are you like the type of person they like they gotta be picking onions out for you or <laughs> as long as it's small you See, can eat it? Right, like, like onion powder bitter. and stuff, you know, because that's like a staple garlic powder, onion powder, you know. It may be a texture thing. Oh, Brooke says happy birthday. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Y'all ready to hear me sing? Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, I don't know. This is, I'm just enjoying myself um, because. You know, another year around the globe. That's all we could really be thankful for. But I was telling, I told Cece earlier, I was like, oh, y'all didn't catch this part. I said, I'm turning 40. I'm leaving an error and moving into a new one. And it's a little scary. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's a breeze in the 40s. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm looking forward to my 50. But I, I still got a little while to go. I'm just turning 47. But you know, I'm like, for my 50th, my plans is, you know, Lord willing, <laughs> um, I want an all white attire. We got to be playing some 90s R&B hits. Hey. You got to be 25 and up to be there. 25? Maybe yeah. 35? Who you? Oh, you for your kids. For your kids. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my daughter just be turning it for she can be able to come. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. gotta make an exception for the babies. Yeah, yep. Oh, broke turns forty-seven, 47 in December. December. Mm -hmm. Which oh, December man. what? <laughs> no onions. Period. Okay. Dang, what's your bland meat? <laughs> <laughs> The don't be scared. It's a beautiful thing. And 50s are even better. I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. once I get there, I'll be like, you know. I mean, I love telling people it's funny because when they say, like, oh, you look so young. I'm like, no, I love those years. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like, the I good thing is we just don't, we don't look it. So. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I saw somebody and I, I mentioned a Polaroid and the lady stopped and she was like, what do you know about a Polaroid? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm old enough, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 50 and bad. 50 and fast. Nikki, you do not look 50, girl. Woo! I know. Like, come on, everybody. All right. Look at me. Yeah, aging like fine wine. Hey. <laughs> right? I would have never guessed that you were over 50. Thank you. Nice. But. I don't know. Anything else you want to do, twin, talk about? 53. Wow. I don't know. I'm good. I got to go in there and uh, I picked my my um, what is that? Big Bertha stuff and peppers. So I'm going to go and make some kind of a rice dish with probably some um, ground turkey in there and stuff them peppers and see how it come out. So yeah, I, like, I hope I have better luck with these peppers too because I'm like these little bites are getting on my nerves. It's like one bite in each pepper. It's like, okay, what what's the joke here? You mm. already established you didn't like this. Right. Right. <laughs> but, um yeah. I mean, I don't really have anything else. It was just for us to hang out, uh, have some drinks. I was like, I recognize that my lines are also very early and people are probably still at work, you know, when I'm doing this. So you know, maybe we'll consider doing something a little differently in the future and see if that can turn out more people. But um, I don't know. You want to sing happy birthday real quick? You feel like saying happy birthday to yourself? <laughs> Girl, I cannot sing. My, my shower is not in here. Like the 40 questions, my shower is not in here. You said your shower is not in here? <laughs> Come on. Knocking on 60. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. And it's a blessing. I was like, I can Thank only pray you. that I get there, you know? <laughs> awesome. I appreciate y'all for um, hanging out with us and celebrating Miss Cynthia and I. Yeah. I was like, we'll both probably be busy turning up in different ways <laughs> once the weekend actually hits. Right, right. Because that's just what Gemini's do. <laughs> right. We are a, mix, a mixy bunch of people. We are the sign of communication. <laughs> she said in my 50 yeah. voice. 
<laughs> a party like it's your birthday. <laughs> we monetize, no. <laughs> Before you get monetized. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Um, but I appreciate y'all for uh, hanging out with us. Um, you, you know 50 Cent's moved to Houston, so he out here with me. Oh, Jesus <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless your heart. Because he is a mess. A whole lot. Y'all can have him. <laughs> have him. <laughs> Don't send him back to New York. <laughs> but um, I know, well, I'll probably see y'all on some other lives today anyhow, so. Definitely. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy Father's Day. Um, yes. Any dads in the chat? Uh, okay, happy Father's Day. You said yes, get it in before the monetization part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying because I don't know why YouTube hate me, but you know, it's all good. I'm gonna keep on pushing. I'm gonna try. Yeah. With his fine self. So. Oh, you think he's fine, Nikki? Uh. Thank you. Mm -mm. Sure. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that, that's from the neck down. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow, wow. Yeah. I can't, like, uh, to me, I'm sorry. I know we're supposed to be signing off, but his his attitude just makes him terrible. Really. I don't think he's cute to begin with, but he is just he's just not a nice person. Mm. <laughs> she said, "I love his vibe." <laughs> he, he is whiny to me. Oh. Mm. But all right, no, for real, like long enough, like Nikki. Keep pushing. We will push together. We need to. Um, Cause I was like, I don't know how YouTube is doing this thing, but I'm I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I'll be discouraged sometimes. So I was like, I was like, all right, I'm ready to. Like this energy got to match the the reward to me. Like that's how I always operate. And I'm just like, what is going on? So how often do you do shorts? Maybe two to three times a week. Okay. Now, do you post that on? You have Instagram, right? Mm hmm. Do you post any of your, like, you know, of your, you know, advertising your channel that you have a channel on YouTube? I do. I try not to do it too often. And it's not so much that um, it's like, oh, I don't want to bother the platform, but I just find that people on Instagram are on Instagram and people on YouTube, YouTube are on YouTube. It's like, it's two different audiences. It is. And like TikTok. if you like short form, you like short form. If you like long form, you like long form. So I find that like advertising hasn't, advertising YouTube on Instagram hasn't really bought any like value. I will say that. Um, I also have noticed, bro, I'm coming to you because I want to hear, but um. And I guess this is every platform pushing their own stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever I do a reel and I post that same reel directly to YouTube, it doesn't do as well as when I go into shorts and create the short through YouTube. But the issue that I have with shorts on YouTube is their form, their um, editing format is very mm -hmm. limited. Yeah. So he said, "Drop I'm, the link." Drop you, this you ready link. to talk now? Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So as I, I know, the shorts are vital. But the thing is, like, even lately, and I would say in the beginning, I was like, my channel like took off, and I was like, whoa! I said I wasn't even ready for that. But then it just kind of like hit this blatant like stop. And I was like, okay. And I, I said this before. I think I said this in somebody else's um, thing. I was like, YouTube is doing this weird thing. It's like people subscribe, then they'll take the subscribers away. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I know I can't be the only person noticing this, right? All right. You know? So I was like, okay. I get they go through and they weed out like fake accounts. But I'm like, literally, it was a point where every time somebody would subscribe, they mm -hmm. would take the subscriber away. So I was like, okay, I do the shorts. Some of them, you'll see, some of them will 2,000 views. Mm -hmm. Some of them, 200. 
if that. Yeah. So I'm just like, I don't really know what's going on with YouTube right now, but I also know they tend to do this like cluster of growth mm -hmm. with channels and like channels. And for me, it's just not going anywhere. What's up, sir? How you doing? How you feeling? How you looking? <laughs> oh, wait. I got I can, this. I'm learning. I'm learning the system. <laughs> hey, bro. How you doing? How you looking? How you feeling? <laughs> hey, see, happy birthday to y'all. I don't sing, Thank but you. I would say happy birthday to y'all. It's Thank a beautiful you. thing to live another another year. But I, I no, I came up because y'all was talking and, and excuse my rope, but like like y'all know when when I'm in the house, man? I'm comfortable. It's I don't know. It's anyway. But uh it's it is a couple of tricks that I, I, I think people don't really use in YouTube. It's a couple small details. And I'm not saying I'm the ex I I don't even have six thousand subscribers yet. But I do feel like it's a couple of things that people miss out that has great content, but it just don't capitalize on a couple of things. First of all, how you title your video. Now, what, if you got 100,000 subscribers, it really doesn't matter what you title right. your video because mm -hmm. you've established the audience. But if you still building, if you harvesting, Google harvesting your garden. And see what's the top five things that come up. Mm -hmm. And mix and match titles because you you know already that Google is nothing. Um, Google and YouTube are search engines right. and they were based. So whatever's the top five things that come up, that means if you include some of those keywords in it, like if four out of the five video have the same word in it, put that word in your title. Cause it's understood that when you when you uh search it and YouTube, that's what comes up first. So it, it only makes sense that if you put the same word that's in there, mm -hmm. that they you will pop up in the search. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And thumbnail. Uh, mm -hmm. think, about, <laughs> think about the thumbnails that make you click on the video. Um, if you're growing a vegetable and you're doing a harvest, the, the end time harvest should always be the thumbnail. If you grow on something that nobody's ever that you haven't seen too many people grow, put that in the thumbnail, but don't say what it is because it, it becomes intrigue and people want to know, hey, what is that vegetable? You mm -hmm. want to you want to intrigue people with the thumbnail. The title should stop somebody that's scrolling through millions of videos on YouTube. And you got it, you gotta hook them for the first 30 seconds. If you can get them hooked for the first 30 seconds. They're more likely to subscribe. Let me ask y'all this. So, like, I know, and I know everybody has different, like, goals as far as branding for their channels, right? Now, I've worked in brand marketing. So, I know that my channel probably seems a little bit over the top when it comes to, like, the intro and that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm doing based that. Based what? Based off what? Um... <laughs> Because sometimes I feel like people don't really like, they just like you to jump right into the video. And I get that there are people like that, but mm -hmm. I'm curious, like, you know, are you more inclined to click on a video that does not have a formal intro versus one that does, or does that not make no. a difference? No, the intro doesn't matter because I look at the title and the thumbnail. And then once I get to the video, now, I don't do it because if I click on your video, I'm going to watch 100% of it. And people don't believe that. If I click on a video I don't like, I get up and do something else so they can get their watch time. I, I'm a YouTube content creator, so I mm -hmm. would never screw anybody out of their watch time or they mm -hmm. click through rate. I don't do that. So when I watch your video, you better believe I don't care how long it is. If I put a comment in your comment uh, thing or whatever, you know I watch the whole video. And I don't catch everybody's video because I'm subscribed to 100 people. But mm -hmm. you better believe uh, Homestead, S E S K, I get thrown out by your name. And uh, <laughs> CC, I guarantee y'all see me in y'all comments at least once a week. Am I right? Because mm -hmm. I'm going to watch one of your videos every week. And that's what I do. I go through people's names and pull them up 
but I'm not going to skip through it. But anyway, getting back, I, I went across the street, my bad. <laughs> but the thumbnail make you click on the video, and the, the Titan thumbnail make you click on. So once I'm in there, what does happen, though, people will fast forward through it if it's longer than 10 seconds. 10 mm-hmm. seconds is the magic number. Mm-hmm. My my intro is seven minutes, but I don't put it at the beginning. I try to suck you in on what the video is going to be about. Mm-hmm. And then I just stop for no apparent reason and then run my intro. For, my intro is only seven seconds. And then I go with the rest of the video. But I don't even put an intro in every video. See, and I'm like, so I'm saying like yours. Mine is seven seconds and there's, you know, there's studies around that, right? Like seven right. seconds or less. Um, is what you have to gain somebody's attention, right? But um, I do think I, I've done that too, where I've left it out. But as far as, like I said, branding and consistency, when people start to recognize like the brand, even though whatever that brand is for you, they expect that. So you don't want to kind of like be wishy-washy i guess in that sense and that's like my like my understanding of brand marketing and, and i'm not a genius on this but i don't agree with that i think uh channels are more known and it's gonna sound silly for catch phrases and particular things they grow mm-hmm. and that's that's that an sounds, example example cc knew right off the bat i didn't like onions Mm-hmm. I've said it a hundred times on my channel. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if you watch a couple of my videos, you know that. So like when am I in a video and I get excited, I say, ooh, 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 ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People see, you laugh because you remember that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the and this here. You do that. So, <laughs> so is, is the intro more important than people remembering you? Because once I know right. your ma- your mannerism, mm-hmm. I get used to who you are. And I get used to watching your videos. Right. You don't always need a great video. I'm used to being around you mm-hmm. and, and watching your videos. Yeah. So it's That's true. And and one, first of all, and once you get enough subscribers, you can throw all that stuff out the window because it really don't matter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It really doesn't matter. It's only for smaller creators that are trying to get to a certain place. So I don't know. I change up a lot of things. If you watch my my earlier videos, they are nothing like this video. Sorry, I and, think sorry, cancel alarm. And my the next couple videos I make will be very different from the videos I made last week. But it also goes with consistency. You should definitely upload one video every week and at least two shorts every week. Mm-hmm. And if you're not monetized, you should go live every week. That's uh, that's uh, <laughs> because um, those, those four thousand watch hours are hard to get without going live consistently. Mm-hmm. Unless you get a viral video, it's, it's it's hard to accomplish that. But I never understood what the rush was for, because even now that I get a few views now, I still don't make a whole bunch of money. So I I never understood what the rush was. I mean, I think. There's a disparity in that too, right? That's another thing I watch, but I guess those can be. I can go on and on about watching this, like these YouTube logistics here. But well, um, how much? How much do you think I make a, a month off YouTube? Thing? Uh, I, me? I mean, these days, I don't. I think maybe it's a like a few dollars to be honest, and that's really okay. are people. I don't know what I clicked here. Are people actually watching ads? Um, you know how many views you get i think they said it's something like for every 1000 views or something is where you really, you get like $3 or something like that i get $7 per 1000 views now keep in mind i only make maybe one video a week and a live every two weeks so you do the math on it it ain't that much mhm and see you monetize too right mhm not yet Nope. What's holding you up? Watch out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like uh maybe four hundred something short. Oh, you are uh, you right around the corner. <laughs> but my, only, 
my only thing reason for saying that is I mean everybody and you should be pushing toward a goal. I, I don't ever want to say you shouldn't be pushing toward a goal. Right. But once you get to that goal, I don't want you to be disappointed when the money ain't what you think. I make just enough to get a check every month from YouTube. Yeah, you have to have a hundred dollar threshold to be able to get paid. I make just enough. And don't get me, I'm not knocking a hundred dollars a month because look at him. That's right. <laughs> That's but, extra Chick-fil-A. <laughs> that, oh. <laughs> but I'm just saying it, it's not what people think it is right. and, I, and a lot of people once they get monetized stop making videos because they get discouraged but originally you didn't make videos to get monetized you right. only thought about monetization when your numbers start rising you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. well having done this in a few spaces I'm doing this to get monetized but it's not for me to get <laughs> YouTube money, like YouTube money, no, it ain't none of that. It's just more of being able to open yourself up to opportunity, right? Yeah. And yes. the audience to to kind of go along with the things that I'm doing. So that's like my like end goal with this. I'm not looking to get rich off of YouTube. I already said that. But if I am going to be investing time and energy, you want some reward for that, right? But and go ahead. Go. No, I'm just saying it's a side hustle too behind it though. Um, my email stay full. They uh emailed me today by hair dryer when I put hair dryers on my channel. I get a bunch of these. I never and do them though. Product reviews. I, I never, never do them. <laughs> I never do them. I did it for the high seal boots. Um, and I got like three products I've never did a video on. Um, I did a high seal. I think I've done two. Oh, and I got the free raised beds. Shouts out to uh Mm. I don't even remember their name. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> but uh, you can make money on the side. If yeah. if you start $20, you don't make $20 on a video. $20 right. <laughs> is a lot for somebody to make off a video. So right. if somebody email you and say, hey, you put this uh product on your channel, and then they say, you know, I seen you want free. Now, I, I want your free stuff, but I want $20 per video, too. We got to stop pimping ourselves out for a seven dollar yeah. whatever we got to stop that if, if if you see anything advertised on my channel you know it was fifty dollars fifty dollars and I, I would even say to that don't sell yourself short because if you know anything about um what it costs to make an ad what it costs to get your products in front of people on a tv screen you should be yeah. charging if they're willing to pay you that means they recognize that somebody is going to trust what you're saying about their product so i, so have I wouldn't even be underselling myself like that either i but, have a question um, for broke on that so when it's complicated natural when it comes to about uh getting paid like you know affiliate links and those kind of things i don't do affiliate how, link. okay you just do upright uh like it's, it's, a paypal type of thing yeah i mean now, when it comes to like at the end of the year you got to be able to you know because they don't take taxes out of your youtube money so at the end of the year you have to uh you know file your taxes how does that affect you or how do you figure out you know money wise now i filed i filed it on my taxes last year but it wasn't enough to you know mm -hmm. this or that way but I will start doing write-offs. I mean, I mostly use my phone to uh, record, but I got a Canon G7X. I'm going to get another one and uh, equipment, gas, going to make videos, uh, fruit trees, because my channel does have fruit trees on it. So every fruit tree that I buy during that season is a tax write-off because I bought yeah. it to Sorry. make a video yeah. off it. Right, right. Okay. So, so that's how you make the difference of, you know, covering that. No, no, I didn't even make enough for it to, to make a difference. It didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't go through the word this year. Oh, something else. If you do want to get brand deals, make sure uh, in the description of every video you put your email uh, on your about page for YouTube. Yeah. You've got to have your email on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even on we'll Instagram and TikTok, they'll get in touch with you through those two, through your email. Yeah, how do you know if they're real though? Like I've had people contact me, but I know a scammer when I see one. Okay, oh, I'm from. <laughs> you want to answer that? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I just the ones that sign silly, I don't do. 
like uh baby monitors, hair dryer. I don't even I just delete those. But like the raised bed, that company, um, it was Pote. I know I ain't saying that right. So I went on uh, Amazon and typed it in and it was a real company. Mm -hmm. So that's when you got it got to be official company name that I can search. If I can't search the company name, I'm, even, I'm not even going to open it. Right. I usually ask for because sometimes they might say about a product, but then they don't see your link. And I always ask, I would need to see a link of it to see if it's connected through Amazon because sometimes it's third party, you know, through Amazon. But I want to make sure that it's, you know, coming through them. And see, that's the thing with stuff like that. If it was a legitimate company, you wouldn't have to ask for any of that information. Right. So right. they'll send you everything you need to know and they'll send you a contact of, hey, this is how we can communicate if such and such. But, but um, I would say like and this is something I just happened to like learn over the years. Mm -hmm. Media kits have one ready for when you start like, you know, getting those kinds of offers and you know, have your price down. Like they have this thing, um, and you probably elaborate on this a little more, that supposedly is like the blue book value, the Kelly blue book value for YouTubers based on like your subscribers. But at the end of the day, your price is your price. You know how much your time is worth. You know how much energy you have to put in. You know how much your equipment costs and what you're using. Like if somebody came to me, I was like, yeah, okay, I don't have a thousand subscribers, but guess what? My husband's a graphic designer. He's likely going to help me with the creative direction. He's going to be filming so that I can make sure I get the best shots. We're using expensive equipment. And that's my time and energy. Now I have to come up with a whole creative plan. You're going to pay me for my time. I'm not, we're not doing free products over here. I'm sorry. It's not I'll even that deep. I got. <laughs> it's not even that deep with me. I base it off how much I make an hour. At the max, I only spend an hour editing. So it's based off what I make an hour. If I was at my job where I make decent money at, that's just how much I would make for an hour. So why should I edit this video for less than I can just go work some overtime for? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because if it's a job, that's how much I get paid at my job. So that's what I'm going to charge you. Mm -hmm. That's worth, that's what one hour of my time away from my family is worth. So I'm going to send it on to you. And something else, uh, when they send you those know, emails about product reviews, a couple things to look at. First off, never send them money. Never send them money. Ever, 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 oh, ever. No. Send nobody mm -hmm. no money. And if they sound too thirsty, I mean, come on. I don't have but 5,000 subscribers. Why are you emailing me every day for four days? That's thirsty. Mm -hmm. I see you email me one time. And say, look here, buddy, if you want these boots, holler at us. If you don't, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And so many words, that's what they say. So yeah. I went with it. Yeah. I have, the, I did the high C um, products as well. But I only did a short. Okay. I only did a short. I like to do videos. So, um, you know, usually I go over what they ask. They may say only for two, three minutes or, you know, can you put it in a quick say something about it? But I like doing videos and give that that company, you know, especially if I like it, because when you do that, then they're more likely to say, hey, would you like to try yeah. this out, too? And so it works out for me. Now, I'm not looking to um, I like the products. If I like the products, then. I, I don't ask for extra money because I don't want to have um, Uncle Sam looking at any kind of money <laughs> stuff over here. We're doing like, you know, item stuff. So I look at the value of the product and I'm like, okay, if it's something worth, like uh, I got my bed, my raised bed out there from Vajega free, you know. Uh, I have some actual product review that's coming in. And it's for a smart water bottle, you know? Mm. And I'm like, that's an $80 would... product. Yes, I would love to, you know? Yeah, and, you know, they're giving me one for a giveaway. So I'm like, yep, I'll take that, you know? I mean, and my mentality around that, and this is like, so, and I'm not trying to bring my, like, 
natural hair grievances over here, right? <laughs> but I, I have a natural hair channel and, you know, I stopped for this reason. I see, and this is, you know, this could just be me. I don't think it is. I've heard a lot of creators complain about it. There is a disparity between what is offered to YouTubers of color versus YouTubers who are not of color. That's true. And the one thing, and the reason I stopped creating natural hair content is because we're trying to support our own people, but our own people were not taking care of the creators that were making the millions. And Nikki, I know you know, I know you've had to come across my uh, hair channel um, because I know she's like heavy into like, you know, watching like the natural hair stuff too. But when you're looking at, you know, things like what your, your videos are doing versus how many people are actually subscribing, then it's like you see the people promoting these products and then they're just like getting burned by these companies. It's just like, why? Oh, okay. So maybe I may, I jumped out the window with that one, my bad. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but it's just like, how much energy do you give to that? Right. And then a lot of people, once they start speaking up about it, you know, the brands were like, okay, they started, you know, separating themselves, they started paying or whatever the case is. But this has been something that has been talked about. YouTube has been, you know, lawsuits have been brought up to them over it, you know, about how they treat, you know, black creators versus white creators. <laughs> um, what do you call it? You know, just the, even with things like community strikes, copyright strikes, those kinds of things. And community i guess what do you say like if you you do something and you get flagged for it and you like you happen to be connected well enough to check and you know somebody else is doing it too that they will instead of addressing the issue they might take away whatever strike you got but again there's this disparity there's a disparity about the way the videos show up in the algorithm um and then there is this thing, this stigma, and I don't want to call it stigma. There is this, this mentality of, well, we'll send the black creators free products, right? But then they're going to pay a white creator. And it was this like one story specifically, this young lady, she was a TikTok creator. She was charging $500 for videos for the same videos that white creators were getting paid thousands. And I mean, thousands of dollars to do. But you know, you know your value, though. I mean, come on. If you if you fall for the banana in the tailpipe, I can't get mad because if I'm if I'm if I own a business and you'll take five hundred dollars, I'm gonna give you five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. It's all about knowing your value. If right. if you worth thousands of dollars, then don't settle for less than that. I right. mean, come on. We we gotta stop. We gotta stop getting mad at people for what we allow them to do to us. That's true. I mean, yeah. first of all. Ain't nobody going to stop me. I will get to 100,000. Remember I said this. I will get to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Ain't nobody stopping me. I ain't going to talk proper. I'm not going to make videos geared to any demographic. If you white, black, Indian, Chinese, or whatever, mm -hmm. my video is for you. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to dumb my videos up, you know, right. for anybody else. I'm going to be authentically me every video, and I'm going to get there. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I ain't none of these, none of that stuff you just said finna stop me. And mm -hmm. I heard about all the stuff that, you know, the imbalances with all that. I'm gonna push through. I'm yeah. gonna push all the way through. Yeah. I, I know it ain't set up for me to succeed. I mean, it's, it's what it is, but I'm still gonna get there. Right. I'm definitely gonna get there. Give me yeah, five and years. And my point in that was, I'm not saying don't keep pushing to anybody, right? What I'm saying right. is don't sell yourself short on these products. Just because you like it, you're willing to do a whole video because that's your time. That's your time and you should be compensated right. for it. Now, that's, as with me, with videos, that's my choice. I like to really, if I'm going to do a product, I want you to know all aspects of it. I don't want you to be like, well, she didn't talk about this about it or what you know what i'm saying <laughs> Leave people say in, yeah and you're like well did they like it did they you know and they're just like hey mm -hmm. i got this product you know a product and really quick on saying that. i'm like well i don't know if i want to get it or not because they didn't really talk about it, you know so that's just my own preference why 
I give a nice full video of how I feel about things. Yeah, yeah and that's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that, you yeah. know, because you're helping the people that look to you for right, advice, right. And, you know? and and the reason I slowed down on that because I got the whole oh couple things. I don't like doing videos if you send it to a whole bunch of people. I don't want to be the twelfth person to do the video on the same product. I don't like doing that. <laughs> but um, they sent me a hose reel last year, a uh, giraffe, whatever. And I never used it, never did a video. So they emailed me back. I said, well, how much to send it back to you? They said, well, in the future, if you do do a video and want to use it, cool, keep it. Uh, it was a cleaning company that sent me some stuff. I didn't want to clean the stuff. I just like the hat and the shirt. <laughs> so they sent me the hat and the shirt, and I never made a video. I'm not saying don't make a video. But be careful, man. Sometimes everything looks good on that email till you get it. And you're like, okay, I got to make the 18th high seal boot video this week. <laughs> right. And I've, I I did that because I was on the, the second lunch of the high seal. So the first lunch, everybody had already made that video. So mm -hmm. I got to come back with a high seal boot video. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't wear those high seal boots right now because of that. You will never see me wear them boots in a video because of that i'm second well, just, i agree i like that too like and i've thought about those kinds of things where it's like you know how do you make it exclusive to your audience if it's something that everybody is doing you know it's like well you could really go and how many people are going to watch that you know right. when it's the 12th time we've seen it <laughs> But you got to think about it. You have your own audience of people, too. True. And we think That's just true. because we're all gardening creators or, you know, that you have the same group of people. But there's people that are not content creators that are on your channel and mm -hmm. they've never seen that, you know. And That's so I, I think about that because we just automatically assume because uh, you see a lot of people in different channels and chats and stuff. But not everybody that follows you is going to be in those channels, you know, because you might bring up somebody's name. They like, no, who who is broke farmer? I've never heard. You know <laughs> right? Saying? Like I, I just did. <laughs> and you just assume. Well, I thought okay, you know, because you don't know everybody in your channel that's following you don't follow other creators. No, 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 no. You are hundred percent right. What I'm saying in my little pea brain, <laughs> that's what I've been thinking. <laughs> My pea brain think like that. And if it don't make sense to me, I I have a hard time doing stuff because I get threw off by that. It's got to make sense. You see, see, you can tell me something. Oh, I almost said something, but it's gonna be a video. I ain't gonna say that. Look, <laughs> you can tell me something and it be super facts that I can Google, but if it if it don't click and make sense in my head, mm -hmm. I would never believe you. Yeah. Never. And that's I don't know, that's how I am. Yeah, I think Nikki said it best though. It's like it boils down to just knowing your worth. Like you decide at the end of the day what that is, you know. So you know, as long as you feel like you're getting the deal that you want out of it, that's all that matters when it comes to that. Um, I just want to make sure we get all of this in. So you were at point number two, bro. You said how you title your video, thumbnail, like your thumbnail. So like example, if you are harvesting. You put your in harvest as a thumbnail. Was there anything else that you wanted to add to that? Um, how you um, hashtag your videos? Um, in the description, you should have eight hashtags that has to do with the video, not eight generic hashtags you put on every video. Like your cucumber video shouldn't be the same as your grape video hashtag, and do some research on it. Um, get bid IQ. You get good um, um, tag tag words. You get, mm -hmm. and I'm talking about the free version because I think we both know I'm not paying for the the, the real version. <laughs> and you get AI uh title, and no matter how good you do your video, nobody just probably could not want to watch it. Let's let's just be real with it. Mm -hmm. No matter how you do a video, it ain't for everybody. Some right. things get less click through. It's just what it is. All right. Yeah. The vid IQ thing, what is that? Um, like, and what other, thought. like, help is there for, uh, I guess, like, newer creators? So, you know, I would say for me, right, I'm trying to get to 1,000. 
but I then you have people that are at a thousand and they're trying to get to watch hours. Some people are at more than a thousand and still don't have watch hours, right? They have a few thousand. So what do you what can you use to help you? What first of all, how many subscribers you got? Me, I, I think I'm at like five forty something. How long you been making videos? Six months. Too long. I'm you winning. Kidding. You winning. <laughs> Dude, what? You got hundred and first off, your first hundred is the far, the hardest to get. Cause nobody mm -hmm. know who's in the world you are. You just out here making yeah. videos. You know what I mean? Running around in the garden. The, <laughs> the more subscribers you get, the easier it is to generate subscribers. You know what I mean? Because it's more videos. And mm -hmm. until you get one hundred videos, please don't expect much. Because once you get to a hundred videos, YouTube takes you serious and start sending your videos out to more people. The more videos you got, the more videos can slide into different places. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I don't know if I agree with that. And the reason I only say that, I say that only because I've seen channels go from zero to a thousand subscribers with in thirty days. And I know that probably is an anomaly, but I've also seen channels, you know, go to a thousand within a couple or few months. But I'm at a hundred videos and I don't feel like they're, or at least as they say, right? Like, I don't feel like they're doing it. Maybe they are, and maybe the click through is not there. But when I look at the analytics, which I was like, I, I don't know if y'all really want to see that, but I was pulling them up. To me, the, the click through, the views, and the subscribers collectively don't add up. If, if you if if you got above seven percent click through rate, and you're not getting that many views, keep doing what you're doing because people clicking on them, but YouTube just ain't put you out there yet. Mm -hmm. it, it's consistency, consistency, consistency. If you have below seven percent click through rate, then you need to reevaluate some things you're doing on your videos right. to make them more searchable. Um, you should have the tag box filled up because you're more searchable with more tags you got on your video. Right. Do you use a uh, tag? Oh, okay. What? Yeah, I have all 500. <laughs> what, however many characters they allow is <laughs> Well, Well, you handling business. You, you, you're a new child. You're a new toy to YouTube. Mm -hmm. YouTube don't know how to use you yet. You just got to keep doing what you're doing and staying in the pocket, man. I remember making videos with three people watching my video for seven days. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I had a video where Led liked it, shared it out. It got good views. After that, I went down so I mm -hmm. kept making videos. I made videos that I felt comfortable with and I felt like the people who were subscribed to me want to watch. Mm -hmm. Right. And then I veer in and out, and I just, I've been making videos for three years now. And I don't think I ever went longer than six days without making a video. So it's, it's just a whole bunch of consistency. And that other person's time ain't your time. When it's time for you to shine, you're going to mm -hmm. shine. Mm -hmm. That other person's shining real fast, but you know what they say about things that shine too bright. They burn out fast. <laughs> just stay in the pocket and keep your light going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't let folks discourage you because they're doing good. Your time coming. And I'm, I'm not just talking about myself, too. Like, I, I look at other channels, and I'm like, I see people putting in the work. And, you know, it's like the same thing. And it's just like, I let, I get a little frustrated for them because I know the feeling. But, you know, it's just, I, I just wonder, like, what the disparity is. Um, Nikki, she said, do y'all get emails about helping with our, with our SEO score? From who, Nikki? And are oh, you, you like I've gotten some, but to me, they've all been scams. <laughs> no, uh, you can do your own SEO score. Uh, people like Turf Therapy and Lion Chris Outdoors, they taught me how to do SEO scores. You don't have to do you don't have to do that. It's people in the community that will help you do that for free. Now, what is SEO scores? It's search engine optimization. Oh. Something like that. I don't know what it stands for. <laughs> I know I do. Yeah. I know how to do it. <laughs> so it's how likely your video is to pop up in the search, oh, like okay. to, on that particular like topic, or oh, okay. which is what he's talking about. You know, how do you make your video pop up mm -hmm. in a ton of videos that are basically talking about the same thing? Right. I'll give you a prime example. 
everybody and their auntie made sweet potato videos. I didn't, I didn't do this on purpose, but it worked out for this. When it was time to pick sweet potatoes, that time of year when it's universal understood, it's about time to start picking sweet potatoes. I made a sweet potato video and I called it Harvesting and Curing Sweet Potatoes. In the thumbnail, I had a, a huge sweet potato and I did it to the camera like that. All right. First off, people wonder, well, how did he grow a sweet potato that big? Mm -hmm. And it's the time of the year where people are harvesting and they want to know how to cure sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So it hit the algorithm hard. Sometimes it's not the video, it's the timing. Right. Mm -hmm. And being in the right time, right place at the right time. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Nobody can plan a viral video. That's you can't do that. No. When what I consider um my viral video mm -hmm. was me planting my corn, you know, that got seven thousand views on it. And that was only like my second video, I think it was. And what it was is that I was doing corn when nobody else had corn coming up, you know? Mm -hmm. and like, what's she doing corn early, you know? I was and, like, she playing that corn early. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody was like, what's she going to put that, you know? And another mm -hmm. thing was they would, a lot of people hadn't seen people put it in seed trays and then plant them out. They're like, no, you got to put the corn right in the ground. But from my from my past experience that corn walks off with the ants and so i can't put it just put it right in the ground because they take off with my corn so i have to put it in seed trays and then plant it <laughs> all right and the other thing about that the, and i'm gonna say this the most underrated thing about making youtube videos showing your personality some people get so caught in trying to teach you something every video yeah I mean, every few videos, if you did some research on something cool, say, you know, this is how to do this, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. But sometimes people just want to see your personality. Yeah. You got to mm -hmm. give, you have, you have to share your personality with them. And I, I don't know what's the perfect way to do that. But they, when I'm watching CC video, I got to understand something about CC. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, she got to show me enough personality where I almost friend, like, feel like she's my friend. Is right. that making any sense? Right. And once I get used to that, I'm gonna start wondering, hey, what my friend doing today? Mm -hmm. So when she put out a video, I'm gonna go see what my friend doing over there. Yeah. You I've watched enough Leg Farmer videos. When I when I first met Leg Farmer in person, I just talked to him like somebody, you know, I see all the time. Because he pulled me in. I, I felt like I was his friend. I'm his boy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I finally did meet him, it wasn't, you know, nothing weird. It's just like, hey, you know. Right. And I don't, I don't always know how to how to articulate and to make sense with what my brain's thinking, but it's something like that. But you know, right? And that's how you get people that um, may not have a um, a channel. And those people, when you get them in there, I value them a lot because they are going to watch whatever you post. Mm -hmm. Pretty much what you're going to post, whatever, because they want to see what's Cynthia doing in the garden, what's going, you know, or what's going on in her life or whatever, what I post. And it doesn't matter what you post in because they're there to, because you have a friendship or whatever with them on the channel. They, oh, let me click that on. Like if you watch your favorite TV show, you don't know them people, but you start being like, <laughs> man, mm -hmm. okay, let me click on today and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. What what was Martin catchphrase? Martin, what's up? You're not the who? See? Which one? Martin. Martin? What's up? See, oh it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's all. It's, I thought it's, you said Mari. I'm like, you are not the father. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh, my only point with that is, if if you watch, all right, when when you and your husband got married. Certain catch, certain phrase that he used, you caught yourself using them. Am I right? Hey, and that's island girl. Sorry, bro. And, no, and that's like anything else. If if I'm around CC and I watch another video, the the verbiage she used, I'm gonna get real familiar with that, uh -huh. and I become comfortable with it after that. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to point this out too. Um. So the educated natural uh, posted. You only need 500 subs and 3,000 watch hours now for monetization. So 
Some of y'all might want to go check. When did they change that? Um, oh. I think she wrote down that that happened this week. What? So I need to go check up on my YouTube policies, That's apparently. So uh, cause uh, I need to be monetized. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, Nikki asked tags versus adding hashtags in the description. I was gonna say, what happened in both? What happened to um, Do we add in both? I do, but I'm guilty of not changing mine for sure. Yeah, I'll try and look at a comment. My bad. So when did that come out? Like this week? Uh, two days ago. Really? Uh, first off, are y'all subscribed to YouTube? What? No. I watch your videos. I wouldn't say I'm subscribed. What do you mean? <laughs> they have uh, their own page where they update, like, and give free oh, like, yeah. and some changes. And... Yeah. They oh, put yeah. a lot of stuff on there. But at, at the end of the day, man, I have 400 people, no matter how garbage my videos are, 400 people will watch every video I make. I call them the faithful 400. Mm -hmm. you, you just like the Al Garden community. You just got to start building your own sub community within our garden yeah. community. That's all it is. I have two to 300 that have watched my videos and they seem to watch every, you know, every time I post and I'm like, yes, they're my people. <laughs> I was like, I don't know who my people are. I know I got about a handful of them for sure. Right. You've only been in the game for six months. How, Cece, how long you been doing it? Five. Five, Five months. Months. Mm -hmm. months? Yeah. Oh, we all have me, her. We started our channels around the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, there are a few other people, yeah. But I that, that's a hell of a uh couple months for you. I'm giving you that. Well, that's I mean, I I post pretty much every day. Oh you no. know, and so I do because I like doing videos <laughs> and I'm always doing stuff in my garden, and I'm like, you know, so wow. I post videos pretty much every day because People look and, forward to that. <laughs> and, but I don't want to. I don't want to stress myself out. So if I'm off right. a couple of days, I might make four videos. Right. But you working what 14, 15 hours a day or whatever? You, you I, working I work, a lot too. I work all shifts that pay. All shifts that pay. <laughs> but I, yeah. I like to have. And I think turf therapy uh, call it uh, having having them in the can. So whenever you just pop them out. Because I don't know, I don't like making videos like that. Uh, I would rather be in my garden without video in it, but I know I have a channel, I have to do some video, mm -hmm. so I might do four videos. And over a week's time, I edit all of them, do the research on them, and then I put them out every four every fourth day. I will put out a new video like clockwork every fourth mm -hmm. day, and that's that's the most consistent I can be. Yeah, see, I found that, like, it doesn't really matter how often you post. As long as the video is quality and people will, like, know that you're posting, like, uh. <laughs> what, what is it? Uh, I mean, quality is different to everybody. Like, if quality means as long as they find value in it, you know, and but they see, know that you're going to post. You like, too. You post one video a week. You can post two. Like, we did yeah. several channels that only post yeah. Yeah. Two videos. I agree with you. Yeah. And they at do least one. At least one. I agree. But, but um, for I, me, I would say because YouTube is a search engine and because it is through an algorithm, it's paying attention. If you, you constantly post this stuff out there, they're like, okay, this person's serious about keep putting videos out there. They, because they, that's the whole point of YouTube. They want you to keep you know, posting and keeping engaging with the audience. And so for me doing, you know, quantity over quality, because at first I have seen some videos where they have awesome, um, like intro videos and they have all these spotlights and they all this kind of stuff. And then they still don't have the views, you know? I think, um, I think it's relative and, what I've learned, I guess, in doing what little YouTube I've done is I think it's relative to what's happening at the, the time. So if in the garden community, like now, like he said, there are certain things that are trending, you know, obviously your monthly videos, the garden tours, you have what to plant in this month, 
that kind of stuff. If that's what you are constantly seeing going around, yes, you will benefit from making that kind of video. But I think it's relative to two things. It's relative to what you started and what you are doing. So if you're someone that started recording videos every day and that's what the algorithm has come to expect of you, and you then go to two or three videos a day, you're going to see a decline in your numbers. But it's also relative to what everybody else in the community is doing. So if everybody started doing four videos a week, because yes, we are in that season where it's like, there's a lot to show. And then you're someone that does one video a week and you don't have a following like that, like you don't have a large following, your videos are going to suffer because that's not what's happening in your community. In the short run, they might suffer. But I got a lot of videos that that were horrible in the beginning and just picked up steam. I got a video about planting uh, what was it, sweet potato seed. I think it got 200 views like the first couple months. All of a sudden, it's up to 5,000. Why? I have no idea. But sometimes those videos sit out there and they pick up steam. So I don't I don't even worry as much now, especially if it's an evergreen video. If it's an evergreen video, I never worry about the views. Never. You have some new people in here too. Yeah, I'm going through them now. <laughs> you offer I was holding on that question because Nikki asked a question that she wanted you to answer. So um, about the hashtags, like description box versus the, um, I think the the video. Uh, in the title, I put hashtags in the title. I don't like doing it. I think it's too much. But I do do it on certain cases for certain reasons. And I won't say because it won't make sense to nobody but me. <laughs> Hi, Up. Up is new to your channel. Aaron said your authenticity will attract your core audience. And that's true. In the long run. In the long run. Soil to Soul Homestead. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at these comments, y'all. Like, especially Where when we're missing, like engaging in all these people coming in. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm working. I'm working. You know? <laughs> hey, Jax. How are you? <laughs> Island girl, hello. What's yeah, I said oh. hi hey to her. All right, they got some uh island and island girl and up uh they'll married couple. They got some awesome fruit trees in their yard. Awesome. Oh hi up, uh, how are you? Welcome. I said they're new subscriber to your channel. Oh hey, thank you. <laughs> Woo. Hey, how did they the find H family? I, I gonna... <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All right, no. so I caught up on everybody, I think. But um, yeah, so we're just talking about I don't know how we got here. Broke was helping us out with some tips, and this got real deep. This conversation over here. Yeah. <laughs> and and the most important thing I think. Hi, friend. Make, now, as gardeners, once a month we should definitely do a, a garden tour because mm -hmm. I want to know what y'all gardens look like. You know. From month to month, how much growth is growing, and you know, tips, and you talking through it. I love that. I love when you put the camera on your garden. I love it. I, I mean, I'm cool seeing y'all, but <laughs> I rather see the garden, the whole video, and that's just what it is. Well, evergreen video is something that teach you how to do something, or it's searchable. If it's a searchable video, like if I do a video, how to plant fruit trees. If I get a new fruit tree and I type in how to plant fruit trees that's searchable so don't worry about the views on that one you'll get the views on that on the back end mm -hmm. it, it's just some videos you don't worry about on the front end okay my ugly garden hey how are you hun? my ugly garden what's up oh <laughs> Wobble all. i like that as a greeting <laughs> what Wobble. um i don't know like i i mean that yeah you watch the garden and it shows, but sometimes I feel like it's nice to see the person. See, I think I think I'd be overthinking some of this stuff here, and I I say that too because it gives the camera a break from moving. Some sometimes it makes you a little dizzy. But no, I feel like I'd be making people dizzy. <laughs> now I show myself, you know, at certain points in the video, 
But I used to focus myself on my face a lot. And I was like, this is too much. My face is right here. You don't want to look at me the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I kind of got away from that. So since broke, since you've been in the garden community for a while, um, so is that a thing that, you know, that you usually do a monthly tour of your garden? Because I'm, I'm learning. Because I see everybody was posting June, garden June. I was like, well, shoes, I need to do a June garden. But so is it a monthly, you know, yeah. showing monthly. of the garden or yeah. seasons or oh, so it's monthly? Monthly. Okay. Some people it, it, do it, weekly. I don't know. Like, is that too much? What? Weekly Once a month? Tours? If you if you're doing all right, if you're in the spring or summer and you're getting massive growth, the time span of four weeks of somebody garden is a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, once I get to fall, I might have a fall garden tour or a winter garden tour. You know what I mean? But it mm -hmm. definitely ain't gonna be monthly during them times. But them times that everything is growing fast, mm -hmm. your garden is changing so much. Yeah. I don't want nobody. This is my biggest fear. I don't want nobody ever come to my channel like, oh, where that come from? I, I ain't see that before, so I don't want to do that. You are gonna see it small, and you are gonna see it big. It ain't, it ain't. Bunny didn't visit my house at no point. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't know. Ain't that roll with starts though? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's nothing wrong with starts. And if I was in a colder climate, I would never start nothing from seed, never, because I don't have time. To, to see how right. it's going to do or if it's going to die on transplant. No, I'm not going through all that. Right. But I have a nine-month growing season, and mm -hmm. that's that's what's comfortable for me. So I don't want to go away from who I am. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't never want nobody uh, to question the validity of what I do on my channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do feel like um, we underestimate how much people are actually interested in seeing that group sometimes. Mm -hmm. Now they don't they don't watch my videos when I plant seed. I understand that. But just in case for those <laughs> those faithful 400 that watch it, they know the validity of my videos. You know yeah. what I mean? That's true. All right. So back I wanted to um go back to the vid IQ and what like explain that to us. Like what is that? And how does that help? Okay. It it has a uh title uh, AI title generator so let's say you upload a video but you keep it private you go to vid IQ and it gives you title ideas for that video not only does it give you title ideas for the video but it also gives you uh tags and certain tags that come up in green are better don't make me start lying from there now that's that's <laughs> what I understand and somebody might have a deeper knowledge about it, but all in all, it helps your videos get recognized. It tells you the things you need to do for a stronger title and a stronger uh, tag search. Um, mm -hmm. And please, y'all go over to Canva, Canva and make mm -hmm. y'all thumbnails. Canva yeah. is free. I love, I love Canva. Canva. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like everybody's using it now. So it's like, I, I, I feel like in some aspects, it's starting to look like the same, right? You see oh, the commonalities, no? Not for me. I delete every, I delete everything on the thumbnail and I I take a picture for it and I mm -hmm. do the picture. The only thing that's different is the words, the wording. You know how it stretches across the screen or mm -hmm. straight across and stuff like that. That's the only thing I change. My thumbnails are just me playing with the guy doing camera. <laughs> and then I use Canva for the wording of it. And yeah. it's, it's a lot of small things that you mm -hmm. can't do on other uh, thumbnail. Right. Hey, growing out the box. Hey, growing out Welcome. the box. Now, all right. Hey, uh, can you stop right there? Growing out the box now. If people got subscribers based off just well-edited video, growing out the box will have 50,000 right now. So it, it's a whole lot more to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Growing out the box in the long run is going to be a really big channel. Mm -hmm. Really big channel. But YouTube still, that's that new toy syndrome. YouTube still trying to figure out what can I put growing out the box? Because I know he got a good click through rate. 
based off his video. You know what I'm saying? It's just mm -hmm. everybody time to get there. Yeah. Yeah, I think um that you mentioned it too. If you're not following the YouTube thing like me, but um watch the videos. They actually just had a video recently on it where they were talking about how the algorithm works in picking up, especially for like newer channels, like what posting. This is yeah, what you should be doing to try to get yourself. Please. Yeah, but the algorithm is supposed to be search, search based now and not just feel sending people to the bigger 100,000 channel. But if you watch anybody with a smaller channel, if you go down below that video, it's big channel, big channel, big channel, big channel, big mm -hmm. channel. Because those are YouTube money makers. Yeah. YouTube knows for a fact if I send viewers to that channel, they're going to watch it and they're going to subscribe. So they, they can't cut their wrist off to be found now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it said it says something more about like it's also audience based, right? So how the audience responds and interacts with the video is also going to term to determine how quickly and how regularly your video gets into the algorithm. I'm just telling you what the, pe the people I'll say. Okay? I, I got a video right now that has a 12% click through rate. It only has 700 views. Hmm. So you can't tell me YouTube sent that video out. I'm just saying. Well, they, they measure the stuff that you talked about too, which is like how many people are there after the 30 seconds, how many people are actually engaging with the content, you know, and are or are they they clicking through watching the video, but then they're clicking off, you know. But no, that the, watching uh, some of the video and they're clicking off. The watch rate, what is called not the watch rate, but uh the watch time of the video. Um they oh, only awesome. skip they only skip a minute and 30 seconds for a 15 minute video. 12% click through rate. No, maybe two two minutes, two and a half minutes, whatever. But I'm just saying, I I look YouTube, if you watching, don't trip. I'm I mean I don't keep getting money. <laughs> but I just it's just every now and then I feel like I got the perfect video and people <laughs> like it. And that's not that video does nothing. I have the silliest video and the stupidest video. I made a video about where you can get free nursery pots, and that video went crazy. That video took me exactly ten minutes to make. <laughs> that's 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 the stuff that that bothers me. Like, yeah, YouTube, I will admit that. Now. You never yeah. know which video is gonna do well. Just you keep uploading. Know. Keep uploading. And yeah, cross fingers, hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yams, I, I put uh, zone 8B if that question was for me I put it in the uh, chat hey yams I'm in coastal uh, South Carolina oh I thought you said something about New York she's from, from New York. York ah that, that accent is thick hey I'm at 8A <laughs> yams I don't know if you're talking to me <laughs> you know it's funny before I moved down here I was like you could have never told me I had an accent and then oh, now that I'm down here oh I hear it boy and oh, when I, I get man. a kick out of hearing somebody else, when they say like New York or when we say the word like talk, because there's always instead of a O R, it's always an A W or a A L is an A W. <laughs> Your accent is thicker than two day old grits. I'm telling you, oh, I, I ain't pitching right off the bat. <laughs> and when you and when you was talking about y'all twin, I was like, they weren't raised in the same state. I knew that for sure. <laughs> That's a big fact. <laughs> you and Cece sound nothing alike. <laughs> Nikki said, I'm Southern. I don't know what you're talking about. She's she <laughs> talking about no, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Nope, we just share birthdays. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's, it's like me living in New York and talking the way I talk. Nobody would oh, live yeah, you guys think I like a sore thumb. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, oh, growing out the box, you got to share. What are your tips? What did you do? What do you felt like mm -hmm. you on the edge? Hi, oh, Miss Shirley. Miss Shirley, oh, a natural click through rate. It's in your analytics. You have to go through your analytics. I oh, think oh. they um, but it basically is like how many like you have a certain number of impressions. So it's like how many people like your video was put in front of, 
and how many of them actually clicked on it, like mm -hmm. the percentage of how many people clicked on it. And I think the average for YouTube is 5% is considered good. Hey, you made that. Hold on. <laughs> I got confused on that. Look, it's, it's uh, let's say your video come up in a thousand people feed. How many of them click on your video? Mm -hmm. That's all you got to say. How, how, how <laughs> she, she, she's from New York. She got to make it, you know. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry if I wasn't. She, speaking she's speaking. learning to make it basic. <laughs> I, I was like, I thought I understood what it was. <laughs> I'm complicated. Oh God. <laughs> no, I, no, I, no, no, no. I didn't say that. I look. I saw your big husband in the back. I, I did, that is not what I oh, said. Please. That is not what I said. <laughs> I'm the one you got to worry about. <laughs> First off, neither one of y'all got to worry about me. I'm, I'm just chilling over here. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I don't want no smoke with nobody. I'm all love over him. But and, and it's something else. No matter how many subscribers you got, everybody got some some tips and tidbits to help you out, man. You just mm -hmm. gotta you gotta engage with a lot of people, man, and see what everybody's yeah. doing. But one thing I will tell you: find somebody that's at a similar place you are and sub, and y'all build together mm -hmm. because y'all understand each each other struggle y'all can kind of you know give information to the right and to the left and help each other out this it's it's a whole bunch of things yeah oh that's awesome uh thank you DMs. it said youtube suggested this live to me i just subscribed Woo! welcome to the that's party. nice <laughs> cc it was all because you was up here that's, that's oh uh, yeah that's the only reason <laughs> listen Mm -mm. We need that <laughs> Texas energy. You know, we know how much you love that Texas energy, bro. Girl. <laughs> no, they, they trailing after broke. They like, where did broke go to? He was driving and then he went to somebody's chat. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, and dude, this is why I like being in people's lives, man. I'm in your live, but a lot of times, dude, I'm doing a thousand different things. I'm out in the garden. I got the phone in my back pocket and something interesting to come up. I type. I'm so intrigued by gardening. I freaking love gardening. So in the conversation, you got anything to do with that? I'm I'm learning and I'm enjoying it, dude. So you will see me anywhere. Never be surprised who live you see me in. Never be surprised. <laughs> say water. My husband says say water. <laughs> uh, it's the way we say. It. <laughs> Wait, I I don't know if he's picking at me or you. No, it's me. It's the, oh. New, it's the New York accent. Say water then. I just said it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even catch it. What? How you say it? Water. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't sign up for this. Like I got oh, to take it. Dude, look here, man. Hey, hey, you know what? You can catch people vibe in the chat. Her husband seems like a really cool dude. I'm he telling you. Yo, oh, oh my goodness. He's my guy. My guy. My, they can't say that. my guy. My guy. That's definitely a New York thing. My guy. Oh, she said now I know what click through rate is. I thought that's what Broke was trying to remember. Okay. Oh, that, I don't know. It's so many aspects to it, man. What's up, bro? Mm -hmm. What can I? Yeah, What's that's Aaron, everybody. Who? He's Who? the I'm I'm the Aaron. Aaron. I was the one that took to say water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not your husband. That is my husband. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I say. What up, Ron? You seem like the cool one. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, man. Own. Why you don't let them in the videos, man? I do put him in some of my videos. I have I, been. I saw him in what I think it's your latest video or within the last two videos he was in. He was in the latest one. Um, he was doing the harvest. Thank Jesus, because it'd be hot out there, boy. And hey, hey, look, <laughs> for all y'all think that garden is easy by yourself. It is not. You, you mm. crazy. I'd be out there like a, a runaway slave trying to keep that stuff up, man. So around <laughs> the summertime, I just give up on it. 
I go out there and throw the holes in and turn it on and walk back in the house. Did we talk about that? What? Being out there in that summer heat? This southern no, heat is no joke, y'all. Right. What? It just feel like 111 today over here. But I got to admit, though, I went hard in the paint on this garden, dude. This this is my best garden for wanting to grow what I want to grow. The things that I failed at last year, I came back hard on this year. So... What's the phrase out there? Sometimes, sometimes you got to talk about people for them to get better, Nikki. Maybe if they'll listen and take some advice. Oh, be clear. YouTube is listening. <laughs> I'm definitely listening. But I don't know. It ain't always YouTube fault. Sometimes we were our worst enemy, if you want to be honest when it comes to making videos. Mm, that's true. It's just what it is. Mm -hmm. But you got to stand it for the long game, though. Cause when I get this hundred thousand, I'm gonna reach back, and when y'all at eighty thousand, eight hundred, eighty thousand, I'm gonna pull y'all up to the hundred. Awesome! Come on now. Oh, see, I <laughs> read that right now. If you don't mind. Said I Google. Um, so we asked growing out the box for some tips here. He said I Google my titles and look for the highest search results. The shorts are the strongest tools now because Google now has shorts in Google search for quick results. See, I didn't know that either. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I That's always put. Tip. I always put music in the short because you ain't gonna make no money off shorts anyway. I got a short that uh got eight thousand views. I made seventeen cent off it. Huh? Yeah, they say it takes a lot for shorts creators to actually. I don't even worry about it. I just use all uh the YouTube music because it sends it out more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you reach people that like maybe only interested or in, are only interested, excuse me, in uh, short content. But they may yeah. decide to click on you. I actually gotten quite a few subscribers from the shorts, which is yeah, why I, I had someone to comment on one of my shorts. Um, and like I said, I have my my comments where I go through them. And one of the comments was um, because oh. it's a dance. The the song is a dance on TikTok. And because I posted uh, a vegetable or something I was doing, they was like, you can't use that. That's supposed to be for dancing and not for a vegetable. I was like, oh, well, it made you click on it. <laughs> Shut up. Right. If you, look, if, if you put that comment in her, uh, <laughs> under her video and you in here, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. I'm sick of y'all. Shut up. <laughs> I was like, really? It doesn't <laughs> matter. It's a short. <laughs> but, I, I thought about doing that, too. I really thought about doing one to um the Super Bowl remix. Rihanna's, like, Super Bowl remix, because that joint was, like, crazy with me and him in the garden, but we just never did. I was, I should do this, you know. I should have did it. <laughs> and write down your ideas. If you if you sit around, I have a lot of ideas, and I keep a notepad next to me, uh, an old bill that I don't plan on paying, composition <laughs> notebook. <laughs> and I write down ideas. And answer your comments. I answer 100% of my comments. If yeah. I don't do nothing but like it. If it's a short, I don't answer all my shorts, but I like them all. Mm -hmm. If it's a regular video, I answer 100%. Now, it was right. some some comments that didn't make it through that showed up in my feed three months later. Some YouTube clean, whatever. But I went back mm -hmm. and answered those two. So mm -hmm. respect the people who take a minute to answer your comments. Because right. mm -hmm. if I'm watching somebody who I'm not subscribed to, Mm -hmm. And I, I get ready to put a comment and I look, he ain't answer nobody comment. Well, I'm not right. wasting my time writing my comment in there. Right. Yeah. Water, yes, Nikki. Water. 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 <laughs> oh, she said I saw him laying down that landscape fabric because it sure wasn't gonna be me. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, that's the truth. I do that as well. Uh she said she used her shorts to gain subs. Me too. I knew that shorts is was, you know. It catches the people from TikTok and Instagram that comes over to YouTube. They're quicker to watch a short, and they like, you know, you may catch some of the people to, to stick around. But they are helpful too for like sometimes you don't always feel like recording a long video either, you know. So you're like, let me do this real quick, or how can I switch it up, right? But it's it's it's, it's ways to do that. Like on a video of mine is, I don't know, eight nine minutes. I probably it's probably three or four clips. So I just take piece. I don't I never video nothing for short. If you put it in your uh editing app, you can flip it to the short. 
So I just I just cut chunks or if I I'm always videoing out there for something. So at the end of the week, I just take all the videos, uh, pieces that didn't make it into the video, and all those are short. I probably got six shorts uploaded as private, <laughs> and I'm just gonna drop them off every now and then. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not good at that though, and I the reason, and it's really not an excuse. Thank you. It really isn't, but it's because <laughs> when you what? edit, like I edit my videos in Final Cut Pro, and for me to have to go back <laughs> and <laughs> get those clips out. I'm just like, I it'd be in it, it's energy, it's energy. I know. Excuses. Bro, got a question. <laughs> yeah. Put your hand up. <laughs> you put your hand down. <laughs> put your hand up. Hey, now we are we gonna gloss over my ugly guard with this beautiful comment. <laughs> beautiful comment. No, that's why I put it up here. You see, I, I just, got trouble. <laughs> I, I'm gonna read can I read it for you? Go ahead. I don't have my glasses on. I don't wear glasses, but look, bro, I love what you're doing, bro. <laughs> Keep up the great work. First off, hey, man, look, we cool. Come on. Uh -oh. <laughs> but love over here. Every now and then, I need to hear that, man, because you, you got broke. Don't get all the love that people think you got broke. Yeah. So I, when y'all show me love, I appreciate that, man. Good looking out. <laughs> And I do have to um, say thank you. I know some people jumped off, but thank you to those of y'all that um, came in and had to jump out. So that's at least yeah, you had you had three hours, girl. girl you already know we are girl. pushing limits over here. I know. Uh, communication limits. <laughs> uh, you got to get that watch time. Don't be scared of the time. You got to get that watch time. <laughs> put in that work. We just talked about that work. You got to put it in. Three hours. That ain't nothing. <laughs> He said, do more lives. I'm over here contemplating going down to two lives a quarter. Oh, 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 listen. <laughs> now, in our community, it's, it's days that people go live. Take mm -hmm. advantage of some those days that nobody goes live. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheryl's Organic Food Forest used to go live every Monday, and she retired from doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday, I think, T Nog, I haven't been over there in a while. I think mm -hmm. T Nog still go live on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got too late, Nikki. Too late. Yeah. I think Ooh. Gina goes live today, don't she? Yeah, she she well, she, I didn't see her post anything, so I don't think she is. But Jags is on now, so definitely want to like hop off and support him in a minute. Yeah, I'm just saying it's, it's hot days that people ain't taking advantage of. Um, a lot of people go well Wednesday, of course, is wind down Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, a lot of people go live on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Friday, a lot of people go live on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, not that many on Saturday. Of course, you got broke phone go on Sunday. Don't do that. Don't do your fight like that. Don't do your fight like that. But, <laughs> you don't got to ever worry about me going live on a Sunday. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, no. That's, that's cool. But I'm just saying, it's certain days. Pay attention to the days that's open, like Monday. Now, I'm a live watcher. I'm a live watcher. Nobody hardly goes live on Monday, period, at all. That is a prime spot. Set that thing up by 6 o'clock and let it roll. Let it roll. I'm, I'm guaranteed big numbers, no whammy. I feel like there's a reason people don't go live on Mondays like that. Monday, you be trying to just get through Monday. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> Cheryl, no Cheryl's organic food. You know, Lady Cheryl. Mm -hmm. She had that spot for a long time, and she was getting in the 90s and 100s on mm -hmm. Monday. So... Just saying. Oh, Gina on vacation. Let yeah, Gina was over she, there she yesterday. She was over there. Her and um, Best Yet Journey and TT was all over there by you. They was at Myrtle Beach um, yes. yesterday. Really? She didn't say anything. Yeah, they, I they, they were over there. That I, I'm even in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, because I thought you was in New York when I listened to you talk. My bad. My bad. <laughs> but I'm just saying. I'm just saying it, it, it's opportunity out there. Yeah, oh, Nick is Saturday night to chat. And first mm -hmm. of all, Nick, yeah, everybody, everybody and their mama been on the chat, but me, what am I doing to y'all? <laughs> or you in particular? I've never been on the chat. <laughs> I, I thought I was your guy, Nick. I yeah, know. I mean, I support them where I can. Um, obviously, I just cannot be on every live. I feel like. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. But the ones here. I can be on. I, I, <laughs> They're playing while I'm doing other stuff. So I don't have to be just in a chat. 
Like even sometimes I come in and I say hey to the host and I say and chat because I can't look, man. You got 40 people in your chat, dude. Mm-hmm. I can't. And I appreciate the ones that do it. And they be like going through everybody. And I'm like, hey, y'all, everybody. Hello. <laughs> but they be on the laptop and they just be at, adding people. They be like, add. <laughs> Yep. I be on my phone. I can't I can't at people mm-hmm. like <laughs> Oh, a whole new perspective. Hey, oh, I don't yeah. what they ate. Oh, Monday. Oh, she oh go Monday. They, that's even oh, yeah, better. Yeah. That's even better. Six o'clock to eight o'clock. You a lead in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you I enjoy it. Like, um oh, wait a minute. Hey, we're gonna pass we by this one. Too. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna like, no, you don't be going live. You Ooh. be on all lives. When you doing lives? See? <laughs> yeah. Live every every other Sunday. Not you, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Who? Yeah. Me? You? You? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go live for my birthday. Hey, Lasha. What day? Your birthday? Up? Huh? What day? It's Monday. Our birthday's Monday. Hey, mm-hmm. on Juneteenth. So we we yeah. look. Anytime somebody say something nice about man, you just gloss over like it didn't even happen. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Nigga said they saving the best for last. She, she was talking about you got broke phone. You got broke phone. <laughs> so they're trying to separate shorts from TikTok. So to compete, search based shots can be found in Google search now. I'm watching it work in real time on my camp on my channel. Search based shots. I don't know what that I means. I need more about that. At first, I, I ain't figured out how people make money on TikTok yet. I, I, I've seen people with a million subscribers. My, my daughter homeless. make money on TikTok. How? She have a forty k on there. She makes money on TikTok. So TikTok will send a direct check. They send it to the, your uh, account, your bank account. Okay, I don't even have the app. Just... <laughs> mhm. Yeah, so I need to figure that out too. I will tell y'all, I'm not like. This YouTube shorts is the most I've engaged with short content. I'm not a short content creator because that takes way more energy <laughs> than it does. Hey, Lasha. If you want long videos. Um, Lasha, if you really want your videos to stand out. I follow CC on Instagram. Do I follow you too? No, I don't think do so. You, do you have an Instagram? Mm-hmm. Hey, start following people on Instagram. It's an easy way to chat back and forth and, mm-hmm. uh, what, what's the Instagram? Yeah, me and he can be on there almost every day. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's an easy way for people to communicate with. You. Yeah. The only thing I gotta do is go back and change my Instagram name to my name on here. You made it, hey! She said <laughs> I made it to a live. <laughs> Happy to have you here. And legendary Juneteenth birthday. My grandmother's birthday is June nineteenth. Oh, so, oh, awesome. Special people, some of the Lasha, I'm training. going. Lasha, I'm gonna be in Galveston for Juneteenth. What y'all gonna do in Galveston? Well, that's where the announcement was made in Galveston, mm-hmm. and so uh, that's where they finally got to, you know, um, to let people know it was first known in Galveston, right. and so they are having um, a church is having. Uh, a big celebration there and they're actually going to do a reenactment march and do the speech and everything and so i plan on going down there um try to do a live of it going on and be in the march well i, I gotta work monday but i ain't gonna work hard <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> That's funny. I right, look. I gotta chill out, man. Right, you know what? <laughs> this this one reason take me so long to grow because I offend more people than you would think. <laughs> You'll be surprised the emails I get uh, of offended people. What? Oh, yeah. Of what? For what? Just for uh, being you? Yeah, yeah. I could be <laughs> offensive. Uh oh. I, I, I mean, think you like doing that at know. times to to rile people up. I'll just answer our last show of the year, December 6th. Can you appear this? Uh, if, yes, if I don't have to work. If I if I do have to work, I'll wait. I come on break. December 16th. Wow, y'all booked out to December? Mm-hmm. You. Wow. I guess I'll get an invite in 2024. Maybe right. <laughs> See y'all next year. 
<laughs> I'll be in Thousands Club. <laughs> you know. All right, what you were saying? Huh? No, he is. Look, man. Wait, what I said right. about what people emailing you because for being yeah. you, not being sensitive? Oh, I said, yeah. don't man up. That's it. Because, all right. <laughs> and I just don't believe in a lot of stuff that people do. And at first, I tried not to, you know, if you re if CC say the only way to grow tomatoes is put Epsom salt in it. And I don't believe in it. Now, back in the day, I just would look over that. But if it bothered me enough, and I really know it ain't the truth, mm -hmm. I say something. Now, you know what I mean? You're if like I know for like a fact, <laughs> for a fact, now I'm not going to say nothing to CC or put a channel down, but I don't know. I just, I, it, it bothered me that people lie to people. Now, have I made a video that was misinformed? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. But I'm saying, I didn't do it on purpose. At that In that moment, I thought that to be the realest fact and the research right. I could do at the time. So I, I don't do. know. I did that myself. I, like that too. Um, I went on. I went back and made another video and said I was wrong <laughs> because um, uh, yeah, when I was thinking that. those uh, leaf-footed bugs was the assassin, the assassin bugs, and I was like, oh no, because everybody, you know, it was people in the comments saying, oh, mm. no, I think that's a leaf-footed bug, and I'm like, no, no, those assassination bugs, and then I was like, oh no, they they are. The leaf footed bugs, and I had to get rid of all those things. But I put out, I posted out a video and said, Look, I was wrong. <laughs> I right, thought I, that's what it was, but it wasn't. <laughs> you put a lot of energy into it. I'll just put it in the comments and pin it. Yeah, that is that's my bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, I will, I would, I've done that too. Like, I know I made a mistake one time. I was like, You know, about like sandy, loamy soil or whatever, like what it actually meant. And I was like, all right, I'll, you know, if it comes up again, I'll address it. But at the end of the day, it's not like lying intentionally. Like some people, right. I think the differentiation is if you're going to do and be like an educator, then make sure you're like checking the information if that's your intention beforehand. Like it's what? one thing to like, you're like, oh, you know, um, mm -hmm. I've seen this or, you know, I, I've read this, da, 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 but, and you're sharing it, but like, I had something like that too. Somebody's like, they do these like quizzes on um, the community page and it was about tomatoes, which, you know, everybody was talking about like the whole calcium deficiency thing and blossom interact and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, the answer she had put was if you have blossom and right, it means you need to add more calcium to your soil. And I was like, you know, I said, I've always been, um, you know, under the impression based on experienced gardeners, as well as a lot of things I've read that it's actually a watering issue. Mm -hmm. And then a whole bunch of people got in her comments and was like, you know, no, oh. that's wrong. This, that, and the third and blah, 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 blah. And it's a watering issue. And I was like, you know, I think too, it has to do with the way you address it. You know, if somebody is attempting to share information because some people genuinely don't know that they're they've heard something or maybe right. the person that they trust to give them information gave them yeah. the wrong information i will give people the benefit of the doubt in that sense but if there is somebody that is and i i, I do not watch a lot of channels for this reason but um if somebody is like they want to be an educator but they're attempting to educate without science Bruh, you're not just going to, uh, yeah, and, well, you should do this because, you know, trust me, it works. <laughs> what? <laughs> are, are we teaching or are we just, like, making videos? Like, which one is it? You know, well, and I think, like you said, there's a differentiation. If you're going to teach and actually make a video about, like, okay, all right, I'm trying to show y'all something now. Like, do that. But if you're just making the video, like, for it to be come along with me, you might drop a fact here, drop a fact there. Like, that's mm -hmm. cool. But I do think if you're going to educate, you have to take the time and learn the science. And I don't watch a lot of videos for that reason. I want to thank you for killing one of the greatest videos I was thinking about making. Thank you. Because uh, I was getting calcium, calcium, I mean, blossom in blossom. right. Mm -hmm. And I was doing a lot of research heavy on that. I had a great title for it. Since I can't do the video, I'll tell you what the title is going to be. 
Gardner myths that people believe, and that was going to be one of them. The yeah. That calcium, first off, your soil came up take a whole lot of calcium. Mm -hmm. Most soils are rich in calcium, first off. So to say that it's calcium deficiency, and most times it's on the first uh, fruit that come on the tree, and then you're good about that. You're mm -hmm. good after that, usually. But yeah, you ruined that video for me. Appreciate it. You said I ruined it? You ruined it. I didn't ruin it. Uh, your audience is not my audience completely. <laughs> but, but, now, but look, but now if I do the video, I'm going to feel like, well, she going to watch the video like, yeah. No, but my live. <laughs> you, you got 5,000 people that need to see that on your video. Surely. I don't know. I, because I feel clearly, and, and, and a bunch of people done said it, and people are still getting it wrong. You know, it's like, you never right. even know. I do because I was I said in my last video that I need calcium, and then I Hi, started thinking about. It. Sorry, I was think, how I did no? I was just saying I was thinking about how I put all that stuff in my soil over the fall. My my beds were ready. My beds weren't deficient or nothing. So shout out to you, guy broke farmer, for doing his <laughs> own research, <laughs> doing his own research and and figuring stuff out. And I let me just let me clarify that too, so I don't sound like a um, you know a. And you were just teaching mm -hmm. because um, <laughs> I am a person that is very much rooted in uh, information. So right. you know, it's not for me to sit here and act like I know everything, but I am a researcher. I like I need facts. Um, I like learning, and what? if I'm gonna do something, I wanna be as effective and as efficient as possible. So I take the time to learn the information, which is but that's that ain't not always good. Huh? Because a lot of times in the long run the science change. That science about blossom and rot, that's a that's more of a newer newer science. Right. So because the tomatoes or whatever they uh check, they were calcium deficient, but that's not the reason why. It was because of uh uh, hit me. Uh, some kind of. Anyway, it was an Im imbalance and something yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. But be careful about uh saying too much, because I once told somebody that you know I just finished master gardening class, and they said y'all master gardener think y'all know everything. I, I didn't even say that. I just said I took the class. So <laughs> you even got to watch out for that. I got an email about that. Somebody said hey. You know, you don't want to come off no more than anybody else. Based off me saying, I took the master gardener class. What? I don't know if I agree with that either, but, you know, like, I'm going to share. I'm here to share, and I'm going to share my knowledge. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just, if I'm going to share it, I'm going to make sure it's correct, you know, right. at the, before I go spewing it out. But um, I don't, like, to me, I don't pay stuff like that any attention because, it's you shouldn't have to dumb to me you shouldn't have to dumb yourself down to make somebody that's, else feel good that's you why i never bring it up that's an accomplishment you should be proud of that accomplishment in my opinion <laughs> well it's just like if you say how many years you've been gardening yep. i've been gardening almost seven years but it's a lot of things i've never grew before or was never good at growing and so i'm like a newbie at it so you can't go about well she's been doing it for so many years but it's always new stuff new you know i just started learning growing in ground i've always did container gardening and so this mm -hmm. is a whole new thing of how you know plants take up from the ground and yeah so i i'm new on that and, and be careful about what you call facts though if you search on the internet long enough no matter what you've always considered as fact Right. It's, it's it's another reasoning behind. It's no mm -hmm. such thing as fact in the world no more. Cause I can I know for a fact most tomatoes are red. You can find somewhere on YouTube where that's not really red. That's more of an orangish tint. You get where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. the, the facts are, aren't that factual anymore. Right. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean that you that that's how you think about it. That's how you think about it. Because then, see, I'm that I'm that person. I will take you there. I'd be like, well, let's go ahead and no. talk about color theory, <laughs> and but, uh, you know, I'll break that, something else down to you. No. <laughs> name one thing in a garden that's 
indisputable. One thing, one fact that's in the garden is indisputable. Indisputable? Yes. A plant wants to grow. <laughs> no. Some seeds are defective seeds. If you get a defective seed, that's that plant don't want to grow. Some plants want to die. <laughs> And you keep trying to survive them, and you're like, I want to die. I'm calling in all the bugs. I'm trying to, <laughs> you know, and you're like, no, let me give you more fertilizer. And it's like, no. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, it's, these days, that man, it's so hard. It's job. That means <laughs> it was never... <laughs> It was people, never a plant to begin with. It was doing something else. It was living a different life. But. People will try to argue any fact. It's, I don't I don't think it is a such thing as a fact anymore because everything is arguable. So, I don't know. Uh, I think there are facts. I think the internet clouds a lot of it because now we have <laughs> a thousand and a, mil a million geniuses. And this sure, is why I said... Sure things need to be rooted in science. And yes, science can change, but yes, science also doesn't change as quickly because for it to be considered science, it has to be tested over a long period of time. You so see what you, Nisi says? If you grow the same tomato in your yard for three years, is that considered science and fact? I think I it depends that's on what you're talking about because yes, there are going to be some things that have shown up factually true for your garden in your space in your climate, but that doesn't negate science. You know? I agree. That's like, I agree. Oh, so I'll give you a good example. Um, I said this, right? So the fact is peas, beans, they're nitrogen fixers, right? Now I made this case, I think I made it on your live. And we were talking about um, nitrogen fixing abilities, but I said, and this is an observation in my own garden, this is a fact, right? I put my parsley plant in the pot with my snow peas. And when I say that plant took off, it took off. It led me to believe that peas and beans don't only fix nitrogen once they're dead they actually release nitrogen into the soil while they're living. Now, it may not be as much as you would get once those nodules start to put out like oxygen after the plant dies off, but has that been researched as a, like in its actual living form? That doesn't seem to be as widely um, researched as them fixing nitrogen in the soil after the plant dies. But I found a video recently that I actually saved and it talks, it literally, it's a um, kind of a picto, how do you say it? Like a pictograph type of video, but um, it literally talks about that entire process. And it actually touched on the fact that some of that nitrogen is actually dispersed in the soil while the plant is living. But the larger benefit comes after the plant dies. And I was like, if I can share it, I will link it. But I was like, when I saw that video, I was like, this makes sense now what i was saying but if i go as a new gardener saying that to people no it doesn't make it fact it doesn't make it science but the fact of the matter is i saw the results firsthand in my own backyard i believe that i believe in small amounts yes i do but if look first off okay i'm gonna say this like this if, if you prove it to work in your garden it's fact hey nisi it's fact. If it works in your garden like that, it's fact. So I don't know, man. It's, it's, it gets to be a weird thing, man, where you do start dumbing down your comp, your uh, comment. I mean, your uh, video for those, you know, things because you can say this works like this, this works like this. It always have the science to back it up. Then you are gonna have those three. Hey, I, I ain't, I ain't gonna say the H word. You gonna have them three people that come in there. They find 19 scientists that say that's wrong. Right. So then it's a back and forth. I it, it just it gets weird. And I kind of like battling people in the comments sometimes, but it just it's what it is. Man. I don't know. Yeah, and I think like for me, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because like information comes, like you know, growth comes from good debate. But right. it's you know, are we are we debating or are we just arguing? And that's I'm trying the to be right. 
you know, right. If you're just here to try to argue me down and it's just like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to engage with you in that way. Now, if we want to have a healthy conversation about, okay, where did you get your information? Put me in that direction so I can look at it. Here's where I got mine. And, you know, where, where did we draw on these different conclusions? I will absolutely go down that rabbit hole with you because like I said, I like to learn. So if there's something that you can teach me, I want to learn it. Let me take that. One comment changed the whole way I garden. One comment. Uh, Lion Chris Outdoor, my buddy and I, Lion Chris Outdoor, he put it, well, he texted to me and he put it in the chat, I think. I was putting blood meal and bone meal in one bed. He said, man, you putting a, a whole dead body in there. Why do you need all that? I said, what? He said, you put a whole dead body in the hole. Why do you need all this stuff in there? I didn't have a good answer, so I stopped using it. It, it didn't make sense after hear him saying it like that. Why does why does this one tomato plant need a you know a handful of bone meal, a, a handful of blood meal to produce? And don't if, forget the earthworm castings. And the earthworm casting. <laughs> and the azomite rock dust. I your <laughs> soil can only uptake so much stuff, man. So <laughs> I just I just did away with all of it, man. And, and just simplified my whole soil. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Who knows? But I just don't feel comfortable doing that stuff. All based off that one comment. So did he give well, a he reason? He would have to take me a little further now. He might right. have about the amounts, but like somebody making a comment is just not gonna make me change the way no, I no, do no, no. it. Make, it made me think about it made me think about what I was doing. Does does Yeah, does why it, why you were doing it, right? Yeah. Like if why, it made why was you I doing think, it? Then that's a good yeah. thing, right? So yeah. it's like, okay, do I even know why I'm doing this? And no. that's the question that you needed to answer. Oh, uh, you know who fault it is? It's you and CC fault. What? It's you <laughs> Wait and Cece a minute. Fault. Because when I first started gardening, I saw people on YouTube, <laughs> and that's what they use. And they have beautiful plants. So this is what I must do to get beautiful plants. Right. But and I'm not knocking nobody who do it because to each his own. And uh, they know thank you, to- my ugly garden. They know how what makes their garden successful. But for me, I'm growing better than I've ever grown this year. And I haven't used none of that. It's regular soil I had. I amended it with compost, a slow release organic fertilizer, and put wood chip mulch, mulch on the top. That's it. Boy, so, do comfort, you, comfort so do you think the, maybe the people that you were watching or I have watched myself because they have bad soil yeah. and that's why they have to put all these amendments in there but they don't say that they don't so say just, it yeah that's, i assume that everybody's got to put this in there yeah for stuff to grow. yeah that's, that's what i assume when i first started gardening mm-hmm. some people do have bad soil and that's why they right. use it but they didn't tell me that no nope. i don't. think a lot of people like like you said is you saw somebody doing it and you're like oh, oh their garden yes. looks super healthy so I'm going to do it because I may have struggled or whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. But and this is where like my argument comes for the value in research and science right? research, science and information, um, because I'm a first year gardener. And I, I would say at some points I you know joke around about it, like, well, maybe it's beginner's luck. Right. But the reality is and people don't want to hear this either. It's like you say, oh, I took a master gardening class. But you know what? I sat down and did about 300 plus hours of research before I put my first seed in the ground. And you said, why? Because I just told you, I don't like doing things just to do them. I need to be effective and I need to be efficient. And I don't like just doing stuff for the sake of doing it, (laughs) you know, and then getting kicked in my butt and learning the hard way. Like there are things you have to learn the hard way in life. I'm not saying that, but when you're when you recognize who you are which is me saying i know this is going to be a big commitment i know i want my energy to pay out for me i also know i'm afraid of bugs like i am scared of bugs anything that i see i need to know what to expect before i do it because if i see it it might be the very end of this whole little journey over here. Are you OCD? 
Do you have OCD? I don't have OCD. Um, I don't know. I don't have, I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am just like, I believe in doing things the right way the first time. If, if you're going to do it, that doesn't yeah. mean there's not room for failure. It just and means. That's like saying, okay, I don't know. That's like saying, oh, I'm gonna go jump in the ocean, knowing I don't, I know, I don't know how to swim, but you know, I'm gonna trust myself to save myself. Like, no, you don't go jump in the ocean if you don't know how to swim. Uh, I shoot out the hip. Uh, I guard a little different. Uh, <laughs> and but might... there's nothing wrong with that because that's your philosophy, right? That's yeah. what works for you. I'm just saying I'm the type of person, but when you look at someone like me in a comparison to what we're talking about as a first year gardener, that's like, I've had success and I feel the same way, right? I feel like people look at me and it's like, well, there's no, like she, you, I feel, this is my own feeling. I could be wrong. She doesn't really show her failures or like she's having way too much success as a first year gardener like something the gig is up she must be doing all the bonnie plants right like this is what i'm thinking in the but the reality of it is is like how do you explain that phenomenon for somebody that just started gardening and for me it's this is what i sat down and did like my husband will tell you i sat down for probably a good 45 days and i mean i was watching nothing but gardening videos all day every day and then every time I went and planted something, I was like, all right, what do I need to know about this plant? Would remind me. <laughs> and I would research it again. And if I got to a place where I'm like, oh, crap, what's, what is this and what's that and this bug and I see this and, okay, this is that, you know. And for me, I needed that because I'm telling you, if I had encountered any, if I had just put a seed in the ground, and these bugs came at me <laughs> coming at me. I would not be on YouTube gardening, okay? I would not be here. No, that's a lot of work. I, I wouldn't even garden. Uh, I'm not a long planner by nature. Uh, my garden, I, I see people all the time. They have a garden plan. They have everything plotted out. No. Mm -hmm. I start some seeds on the inside, and when I get ready to take them out, I figure out where I'm going to put them at based on how much uh, sun they need. None of that. I've never thought about gardening more than 15 minutes in a row, I want to say. Except for the class. <laughs> well, see. Um, Go ahead, bro. No, no, no. I, I, I'm just, it, it's more fun and fun. And I'm glad you said it how you said it because it, it makes it more fun than you doing it like that. It makes it more fun than me doing it like this. It's more fun than CC doing it how CC do it. That's the great thing about it. everybody got their own way of doing it. As long as they produce some fruit, you do it. Well, just like when I first, you know, like I said, I just started doing in ground gardening. And I'm kind of like you, Ebony. I was like, I need to know all about this in ground gardening stuff because mm -hmm. all I see people doing is weeding. And I'm like, I'm not finna be down there. I have back issues. I can't be sitting here weeding every day. Mm -hmm. So let me find out how to keep from having to weed. And one of the things was the base foundation, you know, putting cardboard down. Well, he ran off. <laughs> putting cardboard down. Um, and then I put my soil on top. So it suppressed the weeds and it, you know what I'm saying? I did all that. I mulched things like that. Because if I had to weed, like everybody's like, oh, well, you have to have weed and that's part of gardening. I'm like, no, weeding is not part of me gardening. That is taking up my time. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for that. Now, not to say I don't get a, a couple blades of grass or I might get a stock of grass, but I do not have stuff where you can't even see what I'm growing out there because mm -hmm. it's all weed. I can't do weeds, you know, and I'm not OCD on that. I just don't have the time, and my back says no. No, I Come cannot. on, somebody. Okay. I cannot be down there trying to pick up all the... Mm -mm. Oh, I missed it. What? So what? what you say? Wait a minute for now, because he asked if I was. <laughs> so, so what? What do you do for for the grass? I missed it. I missed the whole oh, thing. when, like I was saying, but the foundation was I cardboarded all the area that oh, I was okay. going to. Do. I did that. I mulched down. You know, I mulched the areas that I wanted the walkway to be in, and um, 
to keep from all them weeds. Yeah, on the outskirts, I might have some weeds where I could take the weed eater and weed eat. But if I had to set up mm -hmm. there, because everybody was like, well, that's part of in-ground gardening. You got to pick weeds. And I'm like, uh-uh. I'm not finna sit there and waste my time sitting there having to pick weeds every time I'm trying to pick a vegetable up. Yeah. And that's a, like the same thing. My yard, oh my God, if y'all could see my yard, the weeds are crazy. <laughs> and we treat the yard, you know, but you can't control what the person two houses down is doing or next door is doing. Like I can talk to my neighbors and take care of the stuff. But at the end of the day, if they're growing weeds and I'm treating them, I'm going to have weeds. I put same thing. My beds, they're on... Um, weed landscape fabric and what is that netting the gopher netting and yeah i get a weed here and there and i'm telling you weeds blow here like nobody's business a weed here and there but i don't have those like weeding issues and you know not on some wood or something that two years from now i'm not like bung jumbled in weeds but um it's things that you can do to make your life easier. And that comes with research. You know, I've seen people put down beds because they just want to get started and then they're regretting it, you know, because they're having all these issues instead of doing it once, doing it right. And then let that be like you go from there. Yeah. I, I don't know. The only regret I've, I've made is my strawberry, my well, perennial bed, strawberries and asparagus. I didn't control the runners at first and they ended up everywhere. So now I got God knows how many strawberry plants in there that I think it's starting to choke out the asparagus, which I um, thought the asparagus would have won. But I think the asparagus is a loser because I haven't seen asparagus in about a, two weeks now. So I don't know. I, I, mean, I got I got to dig all that stuff up. I'm just going to dig it up. Is yes, it not the end of season? I thought asparagus was only like early spring. I don't know. I, I was getting uh, asparagus for a while last year. I, I don't know. I, I, I drank wine. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't that long. <laughs> Nikki said weeding is not CC's ministry. No, I mean, it's not. Got time for no back issues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the weeds, you know, when, when people have all of, <laughs> always fine with weeds, but it's taking your nutrients from your plant. You mm -hmm. sitting there when you fertilizing or liquid fertilizer, you fertilizing the weeds as well. They sucking stuff off from your plants and. Mm -mm. I don't think. I don't think. And this is personal opinion. This is not a fact. Do not uh, tell nobody else that anybody who's watching this video. Um, <laughs> I don't think grass affects as much as people think, especially when it comes to pulling up nutrients. If anything, I think it breaks up the soil a little bit. In some cases, even if you ain't got nothing planted in in that bed or whatever, mm -hmm. I think it's okay for weeds to grow in there because it's breaking up the soil the whole time instead of being See, compact from nothing growing in there. I, I, that's why I have to disagree. Um, and I plan on in the winter because I don't want to do any in-ground winter stuff. I'm going to put them in the winter jugs, but I want to do a cover crop. Yeah, I want to do something that, chop, you know, something like that because um, you let the grass get up in there it does not want, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a battle to try to get that back out of there. No, that's mm -hmm. a bad part there now. Getting it out and of there. I, 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 I don't know what kind of grass y'all have. I, I imagine it's something similar because um, there's only but so many southern grasses, but I have centipede grass. Let me tell you something about the centipede grass. If it root into something, <laughs> it's going to be hard to get out. Right. Because it Is that the so long much. one you got to keep pulling and it's mm -hmm. like a Oh, yeah, I got them. So it's usually either centipede or Bermuda grass that, like, in these areas that can survive. So I got Bermuda. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. want no dad one. I don't have grass a bad, bad time. We, but you know what? Sometimes we is therapeutic, and I really don't mind doing it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, it don't bother me to weed. I have yeah. no problem with it. You probably don't he have to tell us about his weeds. He says, he see you talking about his weeds. He got to defend no, I the just need don't, to weed. I just, if I'm out there, now, first off, keep in mind, I spend an hour out there just looking at my guard. But let's start there. So every now and then, I need something to do. I, just, You know what I mean? I'll be out there anyway. I'm saying that. 
Nikki, you said uh, you drink wine. I drink wine, but look. So I said um, thank you to Growing Out the Box, too, for sharing all that information. For yes. any of y'all, like creators in here, new creators especially, definitely look into that so you, yeah. we can all get our shorts game up to help our subscribers go up. Big fact. Well, I'm going to get on off here because it's, it's way know. past my dinner time. I'm just like, I'm hungry. I ain't ate some bread. me both. No, <laughs> uh, uh, this is my time. I go in the garden, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I I can't go in my garden until for another hour and a half. Mm -mm, it's prime time over here. It's about eighty degrees. Oh, okay, no. we done we done now did ourselves over here. Okay. <laughs> now this sun's here. still blazing out there. <laughs> but you know what? We had a time today. This was a good good live. Yeah, time today. Definitely appreciate your insight yeah, and everybody you, for hanging out um, and coming in and. All that good stuff and celebrating me and Cece's birthdays because Yay. it's a blessing Happy. to be able to make it around. All right, y'all, y'all didn't drop the cash app in the comments. Y'all don't know how to. I don't works. have cash app. Ooh. Cash app scam me. I don't trust cash app. I'm sorry. I need oh, to it, get a cash app from the Garden Channel. Oh, I have bank, a Venmo. <laughs> your bank has scammed. You just send me a money order. order. <laughs> a money order. My, my address is in the description box. <laughs> they, for real, they still do that? Money order? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my God. I ain't heard money order in 10 years. Okay. <laughs> what you want to cash out? Money order. Who who know how to make out of money? Where you get a money order? At? I don't know. Cash out. <laughs> is it the full thing? It's the dollar sign and then whatever it is. Let me see. Thank y'all. Thank you, Tia. Thank you, Thank you what's Lasha. Your cash app? Lasha. Huh? What's your cash app? In case anybody is feeling generous, you know? Who? Okay. So that's mine. That's Tubby's. He'll get it to me. He better. If, if y'all are feeling generous, I'm not by any means asking for money. But, um, oh. CC, what's your cash app in case somebody wants to send you a birthday gift? I gotta oh, set it up. One of them. I'm gonna oh, set it up. Oh. I mean, I have, I have a different way. one, so I need to set up one for a garden channel. He asked and he shall receive. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, look, y'all. Hey, you. I gotta run. I gotta get out. I gotta put. I gotta go pull some weed, CC. I don't know anybody. <laughs> I gotta All right. Weed. Ebony, that Thank was a you. great live. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, boo. I was going right. to enjoy your time at Galveston. Thank and you. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to have some fun somewhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye, y'all.